Hello. We are back. We are back to um, to do more indie horror. Uh, and tonight we're starting with the uh, Red Door Lubud Door. Um. So yes, um, it's Tuesday. You know what that means. Um, but yes, we will get on with the horror in just a moment once Mr. Cat has settled down. No. 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 Scarborough. What? Scarborough. Oh. <sighs> anyway, I, I have a, want have a very long cat here. I blame you for me being confused. Anyway, we're back. It's um, it's Tuesday. Yes, it is. Even though I did the stream yesterday, and I'm very confused. Uh, it's Tuesday, yes it is, and we are back doing more indie horror for you all with uh, Red Red Door L Door, otherwise known as Red Low Door Door. Um, yes, Mr. Cat is with me as ever, as is the mayor nearby. So yes, we are. I'll, I'll try and wave the camera. Here's how far away Meow is. With her very squiggle arms. Anyway, yes, we are we are back. We're gonna do some, some more indie horror for you all. Let's see what we got. I think I confused the cat. He's got big eyes on. He has got his big eyes on. Like, Relax, you're not going anywhere. They didn't come to take you away. Wow. 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 Just came over to give me more ways to. Yeah, Draken, to, uh, Draken came over earlier to give him his meds, and he decided to hide because that's how a mature adult he is that he hides behind the sofa. It's the first time in years that he's done that. Mm. Anyway, we've we've fucked around long enough. Let's actually get into the game. Um, you want to sniff that? Cat wants to sniff a bottle of brew. You know he needs to know what I've got in my hands. That's true, he does need to know everything at all times. Alright. So yes, we are starting with a red 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 yellow door door. Um red otherwise known as uh, red door yellow door. Which is meant to be yellow door. I don't know why they've written it like this, but yeah. Um, Red Door Yellow Door is a first person psychological horror game starting with what seems like a normal ritual. But quickly revealing its sinister nature. Beware of something malevolent lurks in the shadows. So it's about the 19th, so it's been out about four days. It's currently three point eight six. In Red Door Yellow Door, plunge into the depths of your mind. Oh no. Starting with what seems like a normal ritual but quickly revealing its sinister nature. Uh, navigate eerie haunting environments as you uncover the true essence of this uh, mysterious practice. Confront your deepest fears, solve intricate puzzles, and evade malevolent entities on your quest to find the elusive red yellow door. Which is your only escape in this nightmare. Can you find the door and return to reality? Or will you be trapped in the darkness forever? Challenging puzzles. Solve intricate puzzles to unlock new areas and uncover the secrets of the, n of the nightmare. Avoid and outsmart various malevolent entities that are determined to keep you trapped in the nightmare. The deeper you go, the more the world reveals its twisted and horrifying nature. In Red Door Yellow Door, you'll explore an easy atmospheric world filled with hidden dangers and malevolent entities lurking in the shadows. As you navigate this twisted reality, you'll need to find keys and solve puzzles to progress. I feel like we've seen this before. <coughs> Each door you open brings you closer to the ultimate goal, finding the You've already covered this. Brace yourself for a journey into the unknown where every choice you make could be your last. Uh, this is more than a game. This is a test of courage and resolve. Oh no. Courage and resolve? Courage and resolve. Hey Cassie, how's it going? Can you wake up from the nightmare? Wish list. Follow. Ignore this game. Don't know why it's got the animated. That's happening more and more often you see this animated like add to wish list thing. I wonder if it actually works. 
Anyways, let us let us carry on and sing the Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry song. Not to be confused with the band Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry, which was a 80s goth band, I believe. Is that just really quiet or my headphones broken again? That's a yellow door. That's a red door. You need you need the key one. I need the key one, okay. Do I have a torch? Was I meant to pick a torch up? Dear whoever finds this. Uh, your journey ends at the red yellow door. Uh, only through there can you awaken from this nightmare, but beware, not all door doors lead to salvation. Choose wisely. Each key each key, 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 key each key you find unlocks new rooms and zones, pushing you deeper into the unknown. Keep your eyes peeled and your mind sharp. Hidden within these shadows is your only way out. Remember, you're not the first to walk these halls, and you might not be the last. Leave something behind for the next wanderer. A sign, a clue, anything to help them escape this place. Good luck and may you find your way out before it's too late. A fellow traveller. So, write shit on the walls with shit. Gotcha. I assume anything marked with a number needs that number door. Yeah. There's a door over there. There's a door here. Pink door. I like the shade of that pink door. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh no. Um. Yeah. No. I may have broken the game already. What did you do? I, I walked into this corner to see if there was anything, and and I can't get back out. Oh man. I didn't mean to break the game this early. I mean, it helps people with bingo. Uh, hang on, can I... Is there a stuck option? There's not a stuck option. It's it's quite... It's quite close. I, I think it, it it's definitely up there. I don't know what my record is for breaking the game almost immediately, but... That um, within three rooms is definitely uh, up there. I really should just keep track of how quickly I can break a game. Oh, there's a note on the floor! I didn't see that before. Whoever finds this, you've entered a world that seems to be constant of your mind, a game, they said. If you're reading this, know that you're not alone. I was here too. And this place is far more than just a figment of imagination. At first it feels like a dream. A twisted adventure, crafted by your thoughts. It m Did you go over to see if the fence was greener over there and it's not? Do you come back? There's not enough space for my feet. So you might think it's all in your head that the doors, the keys, the eerie silence are all part of the game, but there's a lurking truth. This place is real, and as real as the fear you'll be feeling crawling up your spine. Have you decided where you're going to settle? It's going to be there, is it? Okay. He's going to settle there. Um, let's go this way this time. What's down all these stairs? Oh, can't do anything with the phone. I was gonna phone a random number. There's a key there. I found key seven. Is that, that is seven, isn't it? Yeah, key seven. Be 
found key seven. What do we do with key seven? It's key five. Not all doors should be opened. Oh. Why, why does it say I found... I, said, I take it it's not found 0 of 11 keys, it's opened 0 of 11 key doors. Because I found a key. But I did still die within 1 minute 26, so... Um, that means I must have failed within like a minute before. That's a worrying thought. Okay, so things aren't things don't change location. That's good to know. But there's nothing but door five up here. So we'll go to the left. That's one of the things I really dislike about games when they do this, like, oh, we want you to explore and the atmosphere is really fucking dangerous. And you're like, alright, okay. And it's like, yeah, but you explore too much and now we have to kill you. And you're like, why? I don't understand why. I don't understand why that's a thing. If you're gonna make the feeling that, that everything's, like, you know, out to kill me, then there's no point in me exploring because you'll just kill me all the fucking time. Song of Horror did that especially, and that, that annoyed me with Song of Horror. That's four. We don't need four, we need seven. Hmm. Nothing opens here? No. Ooh, that's loud. It's very dark outside. That's a well lit room. That must be worth looking at. Seven! We found door seven, everyone. Activating key. What? I don't understand what that did. Oh, that was a collectible coin. And this isn't real. Any more of the furniture not real? Hmm. Sir Fine says, the red door calls to you. It's colour vibrant against the darkened hallways, but behind it lies the key to your escape. But also the path to unknown dangers. Take heed, not all keys fit every lock here. Some doors remain sealed, hiding truths that may be le better left untouched. Explore cautiously, with each step forward may lead deeper into a maze. Leave markers, remember paths, but where the shadows. They whisper what, 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 what was. <laughs> they whisper of what once was and what may yet be. May you find the answers you seek within these walls, and may it lead you safely home. Should I, what would I ever, like, if I ever made a game, what would I call the protagonist? 
Right, well, I suppose I need to work out the protagonist. Oh, for fuck's sake. The protagonist and the, um... Both Dave and Big Jim, you know this. Dave, Big Jim and Trevor. Some threats demand respect from afar. Proximity evades peril. Oh. Well, I found a coin, at least. Alright. Let's go around again. Do -do 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 Right, let's go quickly the things we learned. What did we learn? We learned that the seven number... Seven number? Seven number. Door seven is there, which we've got now. Don't know what that did. Did something. And then we go this way. Now, if we go this way, can't go that way. We don't have that key. Um, there's nothing in this room, right? No, there's just that weird tape. This one had the pink, the pink door. I don't remember the pink door. To the Persistent Seeker, a word of caution as you progress. The entities here grow more aggressive the further you delve. Uh, each time you use a key to open a door, they become aware of your advancement. It's as if they can sense your progress in Anderson. With every new door unlocked, the pursuant becomes more relentless. Stay vigilant. Be prepared for the increased danger when it comes to each step forward. The deeper you go, you're going to rely on your wits and instincts. Oh, Christ. Well, that's, us, that's us ruined. I don't have many wits and instincts. Why have you closed? They open. I did not say you could close pink door. Right. Okay, there's the yellow door. The yellow door had something in it, didn't it? Oh, yeah, it was the, the door to the big alleyway. Yeah. So we can go and open door number seven. But let's go over here first. Which is this. Oh, so I need to activate the key, then put it in here. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Right, okay. I, I'm with it now, I think. Maybe. Possibly, maybe. Don't know. Possibly, maybe. We'll try and see. So. So I need to activate the key at the key thing. Which turns it red. So I mean, I could just place the the key in here now. But place seven. Bong. What's up? Where's that key? Just that coin actually. There it is. Got collectible. Now, we went over here last time. And into here. Aha! That's what triggered Big Friend, is us walking in that door. Right, okay. Does he just follow us forever now? I think he just follows us forever now. Does he follow us forever? I need to know. No, he just disappears. All right, so he's a limited, he's a limited time limit to problem. Okay. This is door four. Yep. Validate your key. Activating key for Bong. I'm a key five now. Uh, now, question is, do we go? Well, room five was up here, wasn't it? So I might as well go tag that and then go hand them both in. 
There's no limits to the number of keys I can carry, is there? Well, shouldn't be. Oh, the light just went. Oh, inventory full. If you only carry two keys at once, that's a bit shit. Alright, well, it would be door six, so let's go, um, let's go pan these two keys in. That door was shut before. I wonder if um, every time we go in the green door, Big Friend will reappear there. Be like, haha, I am Big Friend, I live in the green door. We'll be like, oh, it's Big Friend, he lives in the key door. Right, so we've got four and five. So four. Five. Let's go get the key to room six, I believe, and find where room six is. How may have you seen the marvelous room six? Have you seen the marvelous room six where things happen at very quick? I don't know. I'm trying to give a song for it. It's not going very well. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Big Jim's back! God damn it, Big Jim! Why is that music playing? We need to think of a name for that music so we can put it in the bingo. Or find us a sound alert. Or find us a sound alert. Now you can reference a sound alert in a bingo. That's true. You could. To make the life a bit easier. Cautious explorer, word of warning, avoiding the entities you encounter this place. Minimum. Some speak of a man in a suit and a hat, a figure that seems also fully and totally wrong. I've also seen different entities worn settling in the last. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't save, can I? No. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Six door six. Hey, Cammy, how's it going? Did you do a shout for Cassie? Yeah, I did, I guess. I just realised I wasn't sure if we'd done a shout for Cassie earlier. Okay. You did? Cool, thank you. I believe so. Oh, that's a door with a with a darkness behind it. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So where is door six? Where have we not been yet? We've not been down here. That's good. That it is good. That's door 10. Either that or it's a don't enter door. That's door, that's door 9. I was going to say door 11, but no, that's door 9. Maybe door 6 will be around somewhere. Oh. Is that not... Oh, I didn't realise there was a corridor there. Ah, the things you learn. 
Um, well, this is door five again, isn't it? Yeah, this is door five. Where the fuck's door six then? I don't feel this is one of those games I got to rub against lots of like dark walls just to find the uh, the next passage. Oh, hang on, was door six not the one at the end of that weird corridor? It might have been. It might have been. Four, 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 four. Ah, it's Cryline. I, I couldn't care less. This is door six. Huzzah! Oh, fuck, it's the gym. Oh, I guess we've got to do a door lap to avoid gym. Bloody gym. Getting his steps in. Oh, my gem must have left then. If you see the big gem get in his steps in, tell him you love him and you miss him lots. It's the big gym getting his steps in. Right. So let's uh let's go see what Jim was hiding. What were you hiding, Jim? Behind your uh your ever present door number six. What's all this, Jim? Ah! Activate our key. Let's validate our parking. Alright, we validated our six. Now, uh, what the fuck do we do? What's over here then? One of these has got to have a key behind it. Ooh, what's this? Coin! Needs the key one. Oh. Okay. Oh, hang on. Key one was also used for the door at the outside, wasn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Key one must have multiple uses. What if we can take keys back out once we've. Oh, that's a death door. Ugh. Bloody death doors. To those who follow, you might be wondering how e the these notes persist. Well, everything else resets every time someone new enters this place. It's a mystery, dude. Da, da, da. I haven't fully unraveled myself, but somehow this place allows us to leave messages for each other. So it's like Dark Souls. Um, uh, every door you open, every change you make when you leave and return, it all resets as if you were never here. But these notes remain almost as if the place wants us to communicate, leave breadcrumbs for the next lost soul. Stay strong and may these words help you find your way out. Well, I've got key two now, and I feel like I should leave a find a picture and leave a message that says uh, "try finger butthole." Right. Need to go and hand key uh, key six in before we go anywhere. Otherwise, we're going to have a full inventory again. We don't want a full inventory. There is number two there. Right. Ha! This is the key room. So I need to see when I put key six in. Can I take keys back from this? No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. That, uh, that worries me slightly. So I'm going to not be remembering to do everything I need to do with room door one, but maybe the chests are just bonuses, maybe they've all just got hats in them or something. Hmm. Okay, 
here, Jim. Where are you, Jim? Oh, there he is again. Bloody Jim. Hey, big Jim, getting his steps in. Walking around in a big stride. It's big Jim, getting his steps in. I don't know why, but we're going to have to sing the song with Big Jim getting his steps in every time we see Big Jim getting his steps in. And I'm going to forget the Big Jim gets his steps in song when it's been a while since Big Jim appears. Because there's only so long you can sing about Big Jim getting his steps in. I expect Jim is tidy and he shuts the door after himself. Oh, we do have to start the activation again from zero though, that's a little annoying. Alrighty. And the clock room is not good for safe for us. We've learned this already. That's door eight. Oh, it's the the big the big table room. Oh, I should just go hand this key in, shouldn't I? Considering the door's just right outside. Oh, it's that big gym again. Nah, that seems fine. <coughs> right, let's put this key onto the slot. So we are one, two, three, four, five, five keys down out of ten. So we're halfway. Even though I'm sure it said there was eleven keys. Maybe the last key is the one to get out of here. Maybe that's the what they're talking about. I really want to drink a brew, but the cat's on my arm, and if I move my arm to get the glass, he's going to plummet. Oh, for fuck's sake, what are you now? He's another friend, but he's not Jim getting his steps in. He's uh, one that makes everything go dark. Doing a lap. I mean, does anyone really know how keys work? I'm sure anyone with ADHD has indeed sat down one night and examined how keys work and then went, that's really fucking complicated. How did that actually happen? I find the concept of the keys fascinating, but how the fuck it comes together is just fucking maddening to me. So we've got a rabbit that turns the lights out. We need a name for the rabbit that turns the lights out. So we can't call him Jim, because Jim's the one that gets his steps in. So who who turns the lights out? If, if Jim gets his steps in, who turns the lights out? How will it be accepting offers of names? Dear darling traveller, be wary of the doors you choose to open. Behind each one lies the unknown. Anything imaginable can be waiting on this side. Some doors lead to relative safe passages and others open into realms that will test your sanity to breaking point. It is the most dangerous of places your mind will fray and lingering too long may bring around a fate worse than death. Choose carefully and always be mindful of where you step. Okay, well, sure. Just check there's not a coin here because there was collectibles. There's collectibles. I like collecting collectibles. They are so delectable. 
Bong ding. Right. Uh, where was door nine? Door nine was. Oh, I remember where door nine was. Door nine was through here, down there, down there. Through here. I have a horrible feeling when I find um, Big Jim getting the steps in. Sorry, Paul, I've got to help you find my inhaler. Oh, yeah, sure. Apologies, folks, my name's me to help her find her inhaler. I'll be back in two seconds. So, while I'm gone, have a think of what we should call Rabbit Friend. And uh, we'll name him if the suggestion is in chat when I get back. So, yeah, back in two. Alrighty, folks, we're back. Back to do more key finding. Rabbit De Niro or Anthony Hopkins? I think I'll have to go with Rabbit De Nino. De Nino, De Niro. Janice Hoplin is fantastic, it's very strong. I think I'll have to stay with Rabbit De Niro though. Hey, it's me, Rabbit De Niro. You're talking to me. No one else around, so you must be talking to me. Rabbit De Niro. Oh, it's fine, it's in there. I've seen door eight. I think door eight was back to the two door. Bong. Any coins about? No. It was me, the mighty chicken man. Oh fuck, it's Rabbit De Niro. Fuck. Don't look at him, it's Rabbit De Niro. I hope this is a way out, don't remember. Oh fuck, maybe it is. Yes it is. And Rabbit De Niro. He won't hear us talking about him, we're too far away. Hang on, what, what number was it through here? Was it just one? It's just one, okay. So, key number one, there's like two different things we can unlock with it. Because there's a chest somewhere. Right, so key number nine needs to go in next. I hope we don't get a, like bad like uh there's not like uh for all one better term like a fuck you mechanic in this game. But we get to like a nine keys down then it's like uh haha this is instant death. Behind us. God damn it, Jim. You can get your steps in somewhere else. You to follow us. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, Jim? I think you're Rabbit De Niro that can just turn the lights out on us every so often. Can pivot, okay. Yeah, okay. God damn it. Oh, we didn't sing the Jimmy to get a step song the steps in song. Oh, oh well. Shame. Uh radio. Radio. My radio.
Bioshocks. Ah, yes, there was that. That's very true. Okay, we have door 10 now. Where is the door 10? Do, 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 do. So we're just door 10, which we've got, door 3 and door 1. So I'm assuming this one's going to be door 3. This one, then door 3, and then door 1. Because key 1 has like, a couple things it can do. Uh, where was door? Door 3 is over there. So yeah, door 10 is down by door 9. Ah, fuck. Is it, is it Rabbit De Niro again? It must be, because the lights are going out. God damn it, Rabbit De Niro. God damn it, Rabbit De Niro. Why you have to do me like this? Why you gotta do a man like this, Rabbit De Niro? Just mean, Rabbit De Niro, making me have to run round the loop again. My tired feetsies, I've been on them all day. one thing I don't understand and that was when this game was saying oh there'll be puzzles I've not seen any puzzles yet I've seen a relatively decent key finder game I'm not gonna deny that but I haven't seen any puzzles yet and as of someone who's a fan of puzzles apart from when they're pedantic and I can't pop them the fuck out. Um, I would kind of like to see more puzzles, please. Maybe the puzzles are once I get to door three or door one or whatever the fuck it is. Also, when it was like, oh, the closer you get to the end, the worse it gets, I was expecting something a bit more, um, I don't know. Something a bit more, um, yeah. Chest key. Oh, wake up, grab your keys and put on a little makeup. Collectible four of eight. Four, four of eight. Oh, for fuck's sake! Was it Jim? It's Jim. Jim has got a step in. He is walking round the room. Jim has got a step in. He is walking round the room. Can he get a step in? He's hoping for a walk. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that one. Is he done yet? Yeah, he's done. Can he get his steps in as he walks around the room? Now which room was the chest in? 
It was the room next to number five, wasn't it? I think. I believe. I believe. I believe. What? Or was it? That's the rabbit again, isn't it? Fuck it is. I don't think this is a good choice for where I'm running, but I don't have much choice, so I'm running it. Oh no, it's fine, I can do this a lot, but... I can do this quick. Oh. Oh, he changes direction! Damn it, Rabbit De Nero. Standing in front of a mirror, not good enough for you. In this room? Mm, no, it wasn't this one. This is, I think it may be the one over there. Ha! We have, we have door one, but door one's already red. Why is door one already red? been through door one yet? Or is this one of those secrety things? That doesn't expect you to go through door one. You're meant to just be like, ah, door one. I just hand this in and don't think about it. But I'm going to think about it, because that's what I, I do. Because I'm an idiot. There's the red yellow door, and there's the thing. Why is it red? I don't know where the other collectibles are, which is something that will bother me a little bit. But we can go hand door one in. The infinite key? Oh no! Damn it, Jim. Jim needs to get steps in. He's got 15 more today. What? Stair. Oh, fuck off. Fucking bastards. No, I'm gonna fucking do this one. It's a lot faster now because I know where I'm going. Right. Jim. Don't look at Jim too long or Jim will fuck you up. Bastarding Jim. Ruining my day. Because I was singing songs about how he was trying to get his steps in. Trying to be motivational for you, Jim, in these hard times. Everyone wants to lose weight, well, majority of people do. Getting your steps in is important, Jim. Half an hour to do that last one. Probably is those activating key nonsense.
No, it's along here. It's the one back here. Not content with killing me before. Jim has to get his steps in again. Will Jim get his steps in as he runs along the road? Will Jim get his steps in? The only thing that's really annoying is I have to go and hand in every key after I've put one in because because of the um, the key limit. Wrong door. Oh yeah, I didn't pick up the, the coin. I should have done that. Uh, it's four. It's four! Fuck him with me now, Jim. You're just fucking with me now, Jim. Especially because you came from behind me and I wasn't expecting that. I thought you were going to be ahead of me. Or off to the side of me. Uh, I think... Don't worry, I'm going I'm to finish this game. That's, that's not going to be a problem. But, um... I think this game could really benefit from the door numbers being randomised. No, not the door numbers, like the door keys being randomised. Because it's not as if anything really happens in any of the rooms that um, like majorly needs to happen in that order, so maybe just a little bit more random with that, so it's not it doesn't just feel very samey, like I'm just running through the motions with these doors again. Wrong door. Wrong door. Wrong door. Do 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 wrong door wrong door wrong door do 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 Oh uh coin Also, I know that it does the music when Big Jim is chasing you or Rabbit De Niro is chasing you, but I... And that noise there when you hand the key in, but... I don't know. I currently say, that, say this game is somewhere between a 3 and a 4. Like, it has some good elements. Like Most things are done fine. The... The warning system for Jim and Robert De Niro, so Robert De Niro, is done pretty well. He's behind me. Oh, fucking wonderful. Um, the door there I need to go to, Jim. Bloody Jim. Makes me have to do more work. Um, but yeah, the. Um, the basic premise of the game is good. The basic premise of the game is good. Um, as I said, I would just like a little bit more um, randomization. I know the keys all need to be in the right order. Oh, ah, right order rather than the right order, but yeah. Um, I think you could probably 
I've randomized the majority of the middle numbers. And get somewhere with it. And that would probably be fine. It would probably make it a little bit more um, replayable. Because at the moment, I kind of know where everything is. And it's not really inspiring me to want to play it. The only reason I'm still going is I kind of wanted to just see the ending. And the ending's going to be really not worth it, is it? But it's, it's, it's done enough for it to get a decent mark. But I just wish it did a certain things just a little bit more intensely. Intensely? I think, I think hopefully you know what I mean by intensely. It's like, it just feels like it just needed just, just a little extra something. It just needs... Jim, where are you? You down here? You're back there. Okay. Um, it's its biggest letdown is its replayability factor is not very good. Like, its main game, its structure, its style, it does everything else fine. The map's well laid out enough that you can just loop them, or you, you could just loop them if Jim wants to behave. Um, but yeah, the, the staring at the entity death is... That feels a little bit pointless. I know why that's in there, it's to stop you just, you know, looping them while staring at them. But... It, it feels really cheap death. It does feel like a really cheap death. And now we're done, so... Um, but yeah, I think um, I think it all depends how the ending goes. If the ending goes well and it's an interesting end, then I will probably give it a four. If it's uh, if the ending feels kind of pointless or it's just a congratulations thing, then I will probably just give it a three. Because I think that it's definitely not done enough to earn a minimum of a three. Because it's done a lot of the, you know, find keys stuff relatively well. The activation stuff, I don't really understand, but... Yeah, um... Yeah, I don't really understand why I need to activate a key in every section once I've used it. But, yeah. If that's, uh, if that's my only little niggle with that, then that's fair enough. Um... But yeah, a little randomization maybe would be a bit better. Maybe... I don't know. It feels like it needs something else as well, but I can't put my finger on what that is. Fuck, he's behind me again, isn't he? Yep. Bloody hell, Jim. Jim has got his steps in. Jim has got his steps in. Get your steps in, big Jimbo boy. Yeah, um, I do. As I said, I do think it deserves a minimum of a three. I think if it's going to do the, um, if it's going to do the time limit findy thing, Jim wasn't here this time. It's interesting. Um, if it's going to do the no, oh, I didn't activate my key. Oh, that's fine. I want to do it. If it's gonna do the um, my brain's gonna sleep one second. If it's gonna do a get the best time limit, I would much rather have randomization than the um, than you just know where everything is. Because just knowing where everything is. Just loses it loses that sparkle in every replay. No, I'm not answering your phone. You fuck off. 
It would just be Jim crying at me that you can't get steps in. Yeah, it, it feels like it needs just one more element or one factor or something just to send it over that that next um, that next hurdle. Ah, oh, fuck! It's Jim again. Is he coming from? Yeah, he's coming from. Is he? Yeah, there he is. Um. Yeah, I don't. I, I just can't think what that hurdle would be, though. It's like it just needs something. It needs something for me. I don't want to say to take it more seriously because that's not that's not what I mean. But it's like something a bit more than just oh, where's the enemy? There's the enemy. Just run away from him. I'm not saying this should adopt. You know some of the Emily wants to play bullshit and just have, you know, four entities and one occasion shows up and you've got to stay still and that kind of stuff, but that kind of mechanic would be interesting in a key finder. Just like a figure that just leans out a window going <laughs> and you go, whenever he's staring at you through a door frame, you can't move and eventually he'll just fuck off. You know, that just that something like that, or he'll jump out the hole like that and he'll look at you. And you just need to stay still till he's fucked off. Something like that would at least making you have to make the game feel a little less. I don't want to say brainless. Brainless is a bit too harsh. Um, but it's that kind of. Once you know where things are, like I'm not really thinking, oh great, I'm going here, I'm going there. I'm just kind of thinking vaguely, well, where's the next? Where was the next door? It was vaguely over there. Well, it's probably going to be this one, probably that one. I think this one goes uh, nine, then seven, nine, then seven, then ten, then three, then one, if I remember right. So I think if I found the door key to room nine next, if I think if I'm remembering right. Um, but yeah, it just needs it just needs something to make it sparkle. That's a rabbit sounds. Rabbit De Niro is back. I mean, AI is fine um, because you can't really run too fast. It does not. It's speedy enough. And I can imagine the the flickering, the light flickering lights being enough for some people. Um, There was no cap coins in here, was there? No. Um, just had a quick check for coins. Uh, there's one. Um, and I understand the death rooms again are interesting, but. Again, they feel toothless because they just—they're just there. They don't do anything, and if you walk into a, t a thingy room, you can just run back out again and move on. But equally, then there's no real reason to explore most rooms because there's nothing there. I mean, I'm, I know that there's the collectibles, and I could be looking in the other rooms for it. I don't think I'm going to press on this game. Yeah, true. True. 
Um, I mean, I think having the constant AI, roaming AI is definitely a lot harder than one that just appears whenever you trigger something. That definitely is a lot harder to, to work, especially because you need to program, you know, can you see the player if the player does this, if the player does that? Are you meant to be, you know, seeable by this creature if you're standing behind a hat stand, for, for example? That kind of stuff. Yeah. I just... Yeah, as I said, I said this, this, this game does it mechanically right. Mechanically, this game is fine. It does everything mechanically right that you'd want for a game. I just feel that there's, it just need, it needs something, and I can't, I can't nail down exactly. <sighs> fuck. Oh, he's fuck. He's behind me. He's behind me. <laughs> I was like, fuck. I don't know where that door is, and I can't see anything. Fuck. Um. But yeah, it's... I would just... So I would just like something a bit more... A little bit more engaging. That's very true. It does have... I mean, the fact that it can trigger from you picking up things, moving things... Um, like you walk in a door, you start activating the key, and then you hear the footsteps, so you hear the... The strange sound that um, Rabbit De Niro makes that I can't actually replicate, I just recognise it as... It's, oh, it's him, he's coming. Um, I didn't pick up the key in here. Where's the key in here? Oh, it's there. But, yeah, it's, I think randomization would really help, I think, um, to be honest, I think if you, you did add, the, you could add a few things that make the game a little bit harder. And then you can lose the um, look at friend for too long and you die, because that that feels cheap. That does feel cheap. I mean, I will, I will also say that the amount the amount of time you take, you need to run away from Friendo before he just disappears. That's probably about a decent amount of time. It doesn't feel so long that you're running, you know, way, way, way away from your directive. Oh fuck, there's Rabbit De Niro. But it also doesn't feel short enough that you're like, oh he's just there and now he's gone. You know, I went around four corners and I lost him. You know? It does actually feel like it's there for a long enough period of time that you are actually running away from something. De Niro's on his way. I mean, the other thing to consider is I've not seen this map before. Which means that this map has either been actually designed by someone which is a lot of t more time and effort than, than, gets, than gets credit. Um, especially when it's something just like this, like having a, a small key room and stuff like that. Um, that is definitely something different, which is always nice to see. I mean, you can you can tell this game has had some love put into it. It's not like some of the other ones we've played that are very soulless. Not going to point any fingers, even though I'm I'm easily looking at something that says the word stunt. Um, does he come when I open the door? Or does he come when I? What's 
gonna pick up a handcuff key. This one only came when I. Ah, oh, fuck, he's dead. I mean, I do like the fact that if you do look at him, it makes that noise. Because it does actually feel like a kind of oh fuck moment is, is quite literally there. Um, but that said, I don't know. I think there's enough in this. I mean, would you even go f as far as to say they should randomize the rooms rather than just the chest, the key order? Would that make it any better? Like, if, for example, um, you know, I was looking for a room and I'm trying to find it. Maybe room 6 stays the same and maybe room 7 can't change from being in that little section, but maybe it could change from being one of those rooms, you know? There's something... maybe that's the easier thing than changing the key order. But I suppose you'd do, you would have to do the key or you would have to do the... If this room moved to here, then this asset, which is the key, moves with it kind of thing. But yeah, I think because um, I've I've no once I've I know where things are, I have no reason to explore. I have no reason to open any of the death rooms, which feels like a lost mechanic after that. If you know what I mean, it doesn't feel. It just it just feels like it, it falls away. I have no need to go and um, bother with it anymore. Sworn her gym there. Welcome to the McDonald's play party. Oh, not not even a not even a thanks for playing. Just uh, so I think that that game is relying on on speedrunners picking it up. And I think for that purpose, it's 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 pushed itself down to a three. Um. No, that's that's a three. Um, if it gets some updates, um, oh, apparently it's recently up up increased the player move speed and slowed the entity's move speed. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, as I said, solid baseline for a game. Just please do something else with it. Add something new to it. Add something. Add something you can bite down on a little bit harder to it, and you'll get something. But as it is, 
Mm. Anyway, let, let's do another game that I am looking forward to. Because it could be really good. It could also be terrible. I'm hoping it's going to be really good, though. Well, before this gets into menu, let's just show you what this one is. This one. It's Labyrinth Roll of Fate. Labyrinth Roll of Fate. Uh, trapped by a sinister game master, your only hope to escape is to play his twisted game, blending first-person horror with turn-based strategy and inspired by classic board games, each turn you roll the dice to determine your fate, but beware the game master ensures no two games are ever the same. Give it on the 19th. It's £8.50, it's an expensive one. Um, Trapped in a nightmarish world, you wake to find yourself at the mercy of a sinister game master, Labyrinth Roll of Fate, it's first-person turn-based horror roguelike, inspired by the classic board games. Your only hope freedom lies in playing the game master twist game of surviving is a malevolent challenge. Each turn, the deck determines your fate. Roll to determine the number of card actions you can take, whether it's moving, utilizing cards, or unfortunate turn skip. But beware, every move could bring you closer to freedom or doom, and the game master shows no two games are ever the same. Throughout your journey, discover cards uh, with the power to aid your escape. Use them wisely to gain advantages, such as additional actions, a compass, or a decoy to distract the game master from reaching you. But be cautious, each card carries an element of chance, and luck might not always be on your side. With its chilling atmosphere, strategic gameplay, and challenging map on each playthrough, Labyrinth Roll of Fate offers a unique blend of horror and strategy. Can you with the Game Master and reclaim your freedom, or will you be trapped in this eerie domain forever? Turn based strategy game, uh, dynamic ch challenges, and predictable Game Master, immersive horror atmosphere, high replayability, achievements to unlock dice customization options. So, yeah, this has only got one review. This one did have a Eula. But she said it should be fine to stream. <laughs> so if this doesn't appear on YouTube, or does appear on YouTube, then gets taken down. That's why. But um, I'm looking forward to this. I, I, well, one, I, you know, I, I enjoy board, I enjoy board games. I enjoy RPGs. I enjoy anything really with rolling dice. Um, this one looked interesting, especially because it's a roguelike horror horror game. You don't see many people trying to bring those kind of elements into the horror games. So I'm intrigued to see if it's any good. Uh, please say your name, uh, Dave. Castle presents Labyrinth Roll of Fate. Test your luck. Dave's turn. Press spacebar to roll dice. Card. Choose a card. Uh. Plus four actions, please. Uh, can I look at my map or anything? No, no, okay. Three, four, one, two. Opponent's turn. Oh, it's him! Three actions. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just randomly going in a straight line. <laughs> I 
I'm not really been a fan of rolling moves, to be honest. In when I was growing up, they were kind of all the thing. That's what all the kind of games we had when I was a kid. I'm not really sure what I'm meant to be doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's very common in the um and the asset store. <laughs> I don't know if they've just done the lighting so that you can't see that he's got a stagnant face. <laughs> Gets four actions, you'll catch me. I don't know whether the dice sometimes rolls to the floor. I think he should be there. Oh, dead end. There he is. Come kill me, friend. That wasn't very good. No, we'll, we'll try again and we'll see how we go. I feel that the idea is good. The, um,. The execution is a bit desirable.
dead end. I think the bigger, biggest problems I'm seeing so far is that um, all you're doing is roll and move, unless you get a chance to get a card. But all Friendo does is just roll the dice and move. I was say, but because he doesn't really want the dice sometimes just don't roll like that time, it just didn't, didn't roll. It, it's it just feels like it's very bare bones like all I'm doing is pressing the spacebar and 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 was I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I could understand if there was like... Yeah, I could understand if this was like... Um... I think this just really needs, not even stakes, but it just needs something. It needs something to make it feel more than a mono, than a monochrome, a monochrome game with the occasional blood splatter. But this, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I'm trying to get to the end. What are you doing up? dead end as well. <sighs> I wonder which I'll choose. Oh, I'm going that way, am I? I think, sound-wise, they've done the best aspect for horror. Yeah. But, like with all um, roll-to-move games, they feel grossly unfair if you're rolling badly. <laughs> now, one of the re one of the reasons why people don't really make roll-and-move games anymore, for the most part, is that they are undeniable like if you kept if you pick up the dice and you roll one then one then one then one then two then one then one you're gonna move like five six steps so I remember that what many of it was in total whereas someone else can you know be rolling six twelves but fucking fives and they've got they can move so much further than you and this is why things like this is this is sadly how balanced Snake and Ladder the Six and Ladders tries to be because it tries to balance the fact that you can roll you can roll badly. But because you can roll badly there's this thing that if you roll the exact number you can catch up with everyone else because ladders take you up and snakes take you down and they can hit snakes and back down and so on. That kind of balance um at least is something in a roll and move. But the majority of roll and moves were just, like, like that's not a dice roll, it's just the dice goes up, dice comes down. Um, plus four actions. Try and get out of this 
that I'm stuck in. Oh, there's Vendo. Fuck. Um, I can't really do anything. Get a two, Vendo. Kill me. Can I move past them? No. Back to main menu. Do you have any variety or anything I can do with this? Change the rules. Requires one escape to unlock. Oh, okay. I would like it to do. <laughs> Teleport. What I would like it to do. As I would like at least, I guess, was if they show you the map at the start, you could just print screen it and then you can cheat, I guess. But I mean, what good does that do if Frendo knows where you're at anyway? Number of times that I get um number of times the dice just goes up and then lands back down without rolling is a bit silly. I um I feel disappointed by that. Um I had a good idea. Um He did. Um I had a good idea, it was I honestly think that if you did something like even you gave me a map and I had to try and work out where Frendo was as well as try and traverse it. That would probably... Because if Frendo was at the end and it's coming towards me, I'm going to have to go off to one of the sides and avoid him or go around a bit to avoid him anyway. I can't just... There's one route through a maze. It's traditional for mazes. I can't really avoid Frendo. So... Yeah. I just felt disappointed by that. I'm sorry, but... I, uh, I just was disappointed with that. Um, let's find something else. Oh, I think that might be me shooting me. 
two seconds. I'm going to very quickly load the next game up, then I'm going to take a quick two minutes to go and see if that was me out. Uh, let's do this one. Oops, sorry, I think my fan has knocked into the thing there. This next one. It's a short one, I believe. It's a free game. Okay, straight into it. There's no pause. Right. Fuck it. I'll be back in a second because I definitely can hear something. Two seconds. Alright, folks, watch for that. It was not me, it was two men outside having a shouting match. Because, of course, they were. Anyway, uh, this one, before we get much further into it, this is. This is Shadow of Pharos. Shadow of Pharos. I believe we should start checking if these are in categories again. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. There we go. Shadow of Pharos. Okay, so. Uh, Shadow of Pharos is a short, linear. Sorry, a short first person horror game. It came out on the 19th, so. It's been out four days now. So that's something stuck in my, my beard. Um, uh, it's free. You can buy the soundtrack for four twenty nine. It's had some bug fixes. This game is a fully immersive experience and there's no UI by default. To enable accessibility out in general settings, input the following command using the keyboard arrow keys. Left, right, left, right, down, down. The menu will then be accessible by pressing escape on the keyboard or back share on the controller. Left, right, left, right, down, down. What is it? Left, right, right. Left, down, right, down, left. Left, down, right, down, left. Sound to text on. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, sorry, we weren't even finished reading the damn thing. Sorry. Uh, Steam. Steam. Uh, whilst on the keyboard, look around mouse. Interact is E, flashlight is F, notes is tab. That's it. Well, I assume Pharos is the coming game. This is the prequel for or something. Um, okay. There's a couple of reviews, but we'll not look at them. That's decent positive reviews. Then again, it is free, so sometimes free games do give it a couple more reviews than others. Mr. Cat is back, I've just fed him. If I move my phone, you might see his wet nose. There he is. Go on, show your nose off. Show your nose off. Come on. Show your nose off. You're not going to show how wet your nose is? Oh, it's not that wet. But he does like getting his his butt squished. There we go. Right. <clears throat> Just pour myself some more brew before we start properly again. Okay. But you are in the way quite a bit today, I'm not gonna lie. Just because they can't see you because you're being a stealth doesn't mean that I can't see past you. You're not see through. You are, in fact, a moderate size for a cat. Right. Anyway, 
Hello. Let's just play Shadow of Pharos then. I woke up in the middle of the night with the alarm going off. It was cold and the power was out. How would the alarm go off then the power was out? Uh, so I decided to check the boiler in the basement to see if it was off as well. You turned off the alarm by pressing E and press tab to open and close this menu. Did I? Door open and closing. Oh, okay. Cool. That's a point. I've not had my meds. Two seconds, folks. Something more, something more important than uh, anything else. I've not had my meds. Surprisingly functional for having no time at all today. There we go. Right. What's the stairs down in this room? Mannequin? What are you doing? Away from that. No, you're not going up there. No. That's not for up there. Cats don't belong up there. Sir, please. Please, just come back over here. Stay over here. Can't read the newspaper. The door was locked. There we go. Sell there. That's a good one. Can't read the newspaper. I don't know if that's deliberate or not. Uh, oh. I looked around the house for a bit and found new batteries in the bathroom. I walked towards the basement door in the living room with the flashlight in hand. You, you pressed F to turn it on and off. I'm pressing F and it doesn't turn on. Oh, is it, that's because it's there. I've not picked the flashlight up yet. Oh, and it's not working. I need to go find the bathroom for new batteries. There we go, I have a light now. Locked door followed by writing on paper. The door was locked. I don't remember lock, locking it or going into the basement recently. I decided to look for the key in the key holder near the front door. I assume that's this door. There were no keys in the key holder. The front door was also locked. I was cold and tired. I went back to sleep. Okay. I'd be concerned if someone was locking all the doors in my house and I had no idea who they were. Maybe that's just me though. A little bit. Yeah, just a bit. Just a, just a smidge. A smidge on. I don't have the torch anymore. Where's the torch gone? My, my letters are gone as well. Let's go get the torch back. I think it's probably back up in the bedroom. Locked off of a phone ringing somewhere below. So much. 
Distorted crying and moaning. See. I woke up to turn TV static, I must have passed out on the couch again. Uh, as I got up to go to sleep in the guest room, the news report came on TV. Did it? When I got to the second floor and tried to open the guest room door, it was locked. I looked around and found the keys at the end of the second floor hallway on top of a chair. I unlocked the guest room and went back to sleep. Uh, okay. Strange electric noise coming from above. There was someone on the bed for a second there, but I ignored them and going to sleep. There are strong winds blowing outside. Are there? Okay. No, I didn't. Cock. The book said quit game. So I I was like, oh a book that might be interactable. No, no, I just quit the game. I should have I should have realised sooner. Alright, let's try and speed run through this again. So there. <coughs> Note. Downstairs. Batteries. Torch. Door. What the fuck? Why am I now in a car park? I didn't turn the TV off, I, I became in a car park? Or a, some sort of gigantic cellar room? This isn't one of those backrooms games that just shoves you into the middle of nowhere whenever it fucking feels like. Okay. 
no bars. Why is there no bars? Not the slope. We are trapped. Trapped like rats. Go down, but there's a door over there. Is that a door over there? I see. Ignore the phone. There are strong winds blowing outside. Dum, 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 dum. notes there. They're still locked. That's not worrying at all though that was lying open. Go down the basement. key for something. Oh. Blood in the door. It's a rat, 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 rat, rat. Right, are you for... Oh. It's a letter to the floor, but I can't pick it up. Uh, oh, something. Is that this room? Not like that one. Ha! It's this one. Forfeit slams against the table. Door opening somewhere below. Okay. This door. It's this door. It's a small model with a key on it. Oh, lovely. Can we leave now? Is it that kind of key? No. Nope. Hello again. Are you back? Have you just eaten this time? No, okay. I'm going to show off your wet nose. Are 
you done? Hello. Come up. Over here. Back over here. Hmm. Mannequin. Doors closing nearby. Complete silence. Oh, mannequins. Mannequin. 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 Mannequin, mannequin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, man, mannequin, man, a mannequin. Who the fuck is that? You don't look safe in my house. You don't look like a mannequin. Mannequin, mannequin, man, a mannequin, mannequin. Where's the one that was here? You. I was the one that was here. Beware, the Lord of the Land approaches. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, Quick. How you doing, my friend? How's your stream? Hope he is playing. You shouldn't have come here. We're having lots of mannequins staring at us. Yes, yes welcome, everyone. Let's uh, do your shirt, Mr. Quick. Eludian, oh yeah, how was it? How was uh, Elu Eludian Chronicle Rising? Great time, well, that's good to know. We are currently playing um, this one, which is Shadows of, uh, or Shadow of Faris, which is a game about a lot of man. I can't move, why can't I move? It's just deliberate. Oh. It's a mannequin, friend. Look at it shine. It's coming to get you. Look at it shine. What are you doing? You were playing as much as you can off stream. Ooh. Police sirens in distant, rapidly approaching. Ooh. Boys, the mannequins are coming to get me. Car door opening. This is not right. This was not like this, but it was my fault. You are not me. You left the house through the basement window. The basement window? Forest now. Ooh, what's that? It's a yellow glowy thing. It's a lighthouse. Let's all go to the lighthouse. Let's all go to the lighthouse. Let's all go to the lighthouse. To fuck me, I'm blind. Don't look at it, it's too bright. Leave me alone. Rain falls outside, the alarm is going off. Are we in a loop? We might be in a loop, everyone. Now we have the torch, we can't be in a loop. Dum, 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 dum. Hang on. No, I can't do it fast enough for that.
starts crying when you're not here. But then we start a little game. I take him to his crib and leave the room. His cries get quieter as he knows what's coming. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I guess we're going up to that room then. Should have tried that door earlier. Maybe it's just because we hadn't found the note yet that we couldn't go in. Hmm. Maybe the note is around somewhere. Maybe the the uh, key was around somewhere. Don't know what I meant to do. Oh, that door. Can I go back to sleep? Oh, I'll go back to sleep. We are in a loop. I've watched recordings every night till I fall asleep. A few days ago, I couldn't find the remote. I just sat here and cried. Okay, well, can I just go back to sitting there? No. No. Of the torch again, this one. You have just been fed, don't try and lie. He's trying to tell his mum he's not been fed, even though I literally just fed him. Um. So, the guest room again? What are you doing? We'll go try and look at the uh, phone again this time. Our oh, phone ringing has stopped. falls to the ground somewhere below. Okay. What has fallen to the ground? Something falls to the ground far below, but I don't see anything that's having moved. Hmm.
I am confused. What fell to the ground? I don't see anything has fallen to the ground. Are you? Come on, away from there. One more quick look around, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything different. We are stuck in some kind of a loop. Um, I don't know what we're doing. If I knew what I was doing, I think I'd, I'd probably do it, but it, this seems to be a, a strange loop. I think I can read these notes, but it's not letting me. Is it, some, is it something down here that fell? Confused. Sure, what to make of this one? Uh, go to the base and get a key for sort of open the bloody door. Come to the second floor. Mannequins again, isn't it? Come to the second floor. Hope Max is doing well. Everything's so quiet around here that never does. Remember the time we knocked over on the metal shelves? He was so scared, he never went back to the basement again. Metal shelves? Oh, uh, you set one and get
metal shelves in the basement. Yes. East London Victorian chimney sweep exit. That's Australian, do we do? Please, sir, can I sweep the chimney? Will you help me get up the chimney, sir? I don't tend to fit. Because I've got bad rickets in my legs and my legs. I'm so bold I get stuck. Can't get the door to work, sir. What table are you talking about? I don't really know. I don't know where this exit's going either. Oh, hang on, it's East London. I can get. I can do East London town now, bother. Chimney sweep, yeah. Only it's quite lower down, so it needs to keep the exit part, but. Be more squeaky. That's right, yeah. Down we go. Raspy. I'll try and be more raspy for you then. Well, it's not really raspy, it's more kind of got a bit. Is that key again? Trying to talk with a lift is not the easiest thing, but I can do my best, Cammy. Is it this thing? No, not that. Is it still on the other table? Maybe it's down here. We just need to try a bit this one. Yeah, sure. Stop. Oh, was that what you came running back from doing? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, I just checked when I came out of bed, but yeah. Alright, give me two seconds. I need to keep talking like this for another minute first. Because it's quite good for doing weird accent. And it's becoming even weirder the longer it's going on. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. I'm well lost. A chimney sweep from London town. Did it spoil the water? Why is there so many newspapers? Right, okay, well that's the power back on. This is these mannequins doing Gangnam style. Still not really sure what's going on. 
don't know why where the accent's going. I still don't really have no fucking clue where the accent's going. You can't leave now. Rain falls outside. The alarm is going off. We're back round again. This is the first one again, isn't it? One again. I think I don't know what did we? Uh, right. Um. This is the thing all over again. I don't know what we're meant to find differently. I think we're just stuck in a loop. Right, well, I need to go clean up after Mr. Cat before that gets left too much longer. It is kind of a time loop. Um, I don't really know what to, what to do about it though. Well, anyway, I'm going to take two minutes to go clean up after Mr. Cat. Um, before I do that, actually, do we want to try and work out what the fuck this is doing? Or do we want to just sort of smile and nod and uh, move on? Passing over notes on the forum. Most of the stuff on the thing is just like, yeah, it's a time loop. You can get 20 minutes of, of stuff out of it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. No, it's interesting, but I don't think we're going to find much more. Uh, yes, basement window was the thing we found the first loop. We exited through the base of the window and that's where that weird bridge bit was and we went to the trees and the lighthouse. Um, but I think then, because it's going to be hard to just find anything else that we've missed, I think we might just switch game. But that was an interesting one, definitely for a free game, it definitely has some interest in it, so I'm going to give it a, probably give it an average score I think. Um, right, when I come back from Sort Mr. Cat, we'll do, we'll do this one. This one looks interesting. Uh, let's see if this one exists on... So I can get the letters right around, isn't it? Right, gas. There we go. Okay. I'm just put the name of this in, and then okay, take two minutes to go clean up after Mr. Cat, and then we will begin night gas. So I'll just, as, this, as usual, I'll just flash up the what this is, so you know what to expect. Night gas. First person horror game but Wicked Witches and Sinister Widows. It looks um could be interesting, could be terrible. I have received it. wait and find out. So yeah, back in a moment and we'll carry on. Alrighty folks are back. Apologies, he knocked over a bag of cat litter. 
Right. Uh, anyway, we're back with Nightgast. 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 Nightgast is a first-person horror game about wicked witches and sinister widows. Came out on the 19th, so four days ago. As a psychological horror attack, as well as a horror attack. It's 1.74. I received information from a widow named Mildred Bartikus. 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 Mildred Bartigas, who resides in the countryside. Who are She's a farmer's wife. She claims her house has become haunted after her divorce. She insists that the entity by the name Schnallpechtern, no, Schnabelperchten, Schnabelperchten, is angry with her because his house, her house is never clean enough. Perhaps due to her depression after the divorce, She's become obsessive compulsive. However, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not concerned with her mental state. Well, you, it's a bit of a harsh tone. This case is perfect for me. It holds many paranormal clues. I must search her house to determine whether her house is genuinely haunted or not. Short booking will be completed in another two hours. Rebindable keys uses Unreal Engine 5. Has a running key. You can run around fast. Although we suggest you walk around and explore the backstory story. Um... Simple puzzles using inventory and your equipment. Collect evidence regarding the paranormal events of the house. All monsters to chase you, you have to hide from them. Fair enough. Cinematic cutscenes to explain the story, which use real life screen actors shot on green screen. Ooh. Hunt down ghost skating, skating? sightings has jump scares, ominous background music, and soundscapes. Sounds very fancy. So yes, that's what we'll be ahead of ahead of us now. So yeah, let's uh, let's dive into it. I've received an invitation from a widow named Wilded Bartigas, who resides in the countryside. She claims her house became haunted after her divorce. She insists that an entity by I the name. received an invitation oh. from a widow named Mildred Bartgis, who resides in the countryside. She claims that her house became haunted after her divorce. She insists that an entity by the name of Schnabelperchten is angry with her because her house is never clean enough. Perhaps, due to her depression after the divorce, she has become obsessive compulsive. However, I'm not a psychologist, so I'm not concerned about her mental state. This case is perfect for me, as it holds many paranormal clues. I must search her house to determine whether it is genuinely haunted or not. <coughs> Sir. Sir, please. Please. Can I please? Please do my game. Please. You can get some cuddles afterwards. Night time. Be sure that I'd never call for her help. She gives me the creeps. I should mind my own business in the old fashioned way. Search for clues everywhere. But it's the middle of the night. Why is she gardening?
Sí. I don't know what that is, but okay. Treating a rampage is not as active terrorism. Adding machine. Oh, thank you. I guess we're going through there, though. There's a lot of bread. Oh, yeah. What's this? Haunting remnant stew. Destruction's shadow of fractured soul harvested during the darkest hour echoes of a distant whisper gathered from abandoned corridors. Uh, okay. Mildred's speci special recipe added to documents. Okay. Why is there a piano sound? Why's the piano sound? Burbank gossip. Studios which tell you which stars are setting the pace. I see. There's a lot of pictures of this, uh, Family. Oh, I have seen this house before somewhere as well. Turbo wax? Oh, it's a real wash. Violent acts have shattered our family, leaving me to navigate a loveless home. Your death brought thrilling relief, yet your presence lingers, haunting nightmares, Geoffrey. Geoffrey le Geoffrey's letter to father added to documents. Okay. Oh. That door isn't real. Okay. Local hospital rocked under child disappearance and nursing investigation. Shock term events. The child has gone missing from the premises of St Anne's Hospital, plunging the local community into a state of distress and concern. Disappearance which occurred under mysterious circumstances that prompted the investigation of one of the nurses' hospitals. Uh, so the hospital's nurses are murdering the prime suspect. This unfolded yesterday evening. The hospital staff discovered that a young patient, seven year old Emily Carter, was unaccounted for during routine bed checks. Emily, who had been receiving treatment for min minor ailment, had been seen in her room by nursing staff approximately two hours before her disappearance was noticed. Authorities were immediately notified with an extensive search operation and launched within the hospital grounds and surrounding areas. Despite concerted efforts by law enforcement and hospital personnel, there have been no leads or sightings of the missing child and lost thus far. Uh, adding to the gra gravity of the situation, suspicions have arisen of the involvement of one of the hospital's own nurses, whose identity has been withheld pending further investigation. Sources close to the ongoing probe suggest that circumstantial evidence has led to doubt, uh, cast a shadow of doubt over the nurses' actions leading to Edmund's disappearance. We're treating the case as utmost seriousness, said Chief Inspector Marcus Reynolds, who is heading the investigation. While we are exploring all possible leads, including potential abduction scenarios, our focus clearly uh, currently centred on individuals who had direct contact with Emily prior to disappearance. This sent shockwaves to the local community, with many expressing disbelief and concern over the safety protocols in place at the hospital. Parents of the other paediatric patients have voiced apprehension, demanding answers and assurances from the hospital's administration regarding the security of their children. In response to the mounting public scrutiny, hospital officials have issued a statement reaffirming their commitment to cooperating fully with the law enforcement, ensuring the safety of well-being of all patients under their care. 
Our hearts go out to Emily's family during this distressing time, offered uh, Dr. Rebecca Hayes, Chief Medical Officer of St Anne's Hospital. We are fully cooperating with the ongoing investigation and remain dedicated in supporting the authorities any way we can. Uh, uh, as such, Emily intensifies the operation into her experience deepens. The community remains on edge, grappling with unanswered questions and fears for its safety, for its vulnerable members. All eyes now are now trained on the unfolding development the, as the authorities work tirelessly, tirelessly to unravel the mystery behind the chilling disappearances at St Anne's Hospital. Very long uh, piece of info there. Dear Diary, today is the 15th wedding anniversary. Original surprise me with a beautiful bouquet of roses. Their fragrance feels almost surreal. Jeffrey smiles at us, clapping his tiny hands. Reginald took us out to dinner, and I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Whispers echoed in the background, so I pretended not to hear. Maybe it's just distress, Mildred. The shadows seem closer today. Reginald noticed my knees at dinner, but I brushed it off. Jeffrey took his first steps, a milestone I have been eagerly awaiting. His laughter echoed in the house, drowning out the whispers. I caught glimpses of figures in the corridors. Uh, in the corners, they vanish when I turn to look. I need to stay strong for my family. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting romances. I see. I'm sure everyone would uh, would read interesting romances. It sounds a very fun read. That oh, was a key tape at the back of it. Basement key. I can't see through there, but I can look through the door if I can stand next to it. Okay. I found myself grappling with sorrow that's hard to put into words. The person I called a friend has become a shadow of themselves. Lost in a darkness that none of us can seem to reach. I blame you not out of anger, but a deep sadness for the path you've chosen. The details of my fateful night linger in my mind. I want to remind you of the person you've become. I urge you to confront the demons that will lead you down this dark road. Seek help, Mildred, for the darkness consumes you entirely, Clara. Okay. Evidence chain of custody bag. Why is that here? Tragedy strikes. Hamilton found dead. Wife in custody. Tranquility turned to tragedy. White husband fatally wounded. Wife in custody. Fairhaven. Shocked to arrest Reginald C. A 47 year old resident of Fairhaven on Avon. Was found dead at a country home. Victim of a violent attack allegedly perpetrated by his wife, Mildred B. Parallel investigations suggest the couple were residing in rural property, seeking a peaceful life away from the hustle bustle of city living. However, tranquility turned to tragedy where altercation or escalated, resulting in the untimely death of Reginald C. Let's see. 
untimely death. Untimely death. How do I get to this basement then? I don't know, but I have a saw. Back there, nothing there. Door is not open. Um, basement door in here, then? Is the basement door? My saw? No. I lost my saw. What was the point of me losing my saw for this? There's nothing here that looks even remotely interesting or usable. Why why did it cost me my saw to get in here? Oh, because there's a oh, I see. A basement. There's a tiny key there. Bedroom key? Oh, okay. That's something. Oh, cars. Pencil sharpener. Huh? Why is In the latest patch notes of uh, Norland, mm -hmm. they finished the patch notes with uh, please don't uh, wait until tomorrow to put your review down because we're reading before bed. What is this? Why can I look at this? I don't know. Well, I guess we're going back upstairs to, um... Well, thanks for that, Mildred. Right. Well, there was a cabinet somewhere. That was, um... This one was in here. It was, uh... Tied shut. Hmm, that's me up, it was upstairs. Cutters. What is that? 
Half torn photo, where's the other half? Actually, that can't be everything in here. It cost me some bolt cutters. I feel I got ripped off for that exchange. Um, well, we've got the bedroom key, I'll we'll go use that now. Graceful General Hospital, Milton Bardis, 1941. Schizophrenia, okay. How would start to experience vivid, vivid auditory hallucinations and paranoid delusions? Reported to multiple voices, often engaged in uh, conversations that keep. Blah, 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 blah often engaged in conversations that seemed external to her surroundings, contributing to a heightened sense of anxiety and fear. Her thoughts became increasingly disorganised, <sighs> affecting <coughs> her ability to communicate effectively. Mildred's academic and occupational uh, functioning declined significantly, leading to a disruption in her overall life trajectory. Upon evaluation, Mildred presents with a myriad of positive symptoms associated with schizophrenia, halu halu auditory hallucinations persist, creating a complex soundscape of voices that fluctuate in tone and context. Her paranormal, sorry, her paranoid delusions often center around themes of persecution, making it challenging for her to trust those around her. Disorganized thought processes and speech for the complicated communication, for, uh, requiring a considerable amount of patience and understanding from both caregivers and mental health professionals. Social withdrawal is a prominent aspect of Mulder's current state. With limited engagement in interpersonal relationships, personal hygiene has been neglected, finding in challenges individuals with schizophrenia might face daily routine activities of daily living. Dr. Edmund Everly. Sally's eyebrow. Uh, torn half of the photo. Well, we have both half, so we can combine them. I can't, I can't examine here. Hang on. Oh, it's one of those ones that doesn't exist if you turn it side on. Okay. Lot of meds. God, treatment behavioural plan. Treatment plan is comprehensive, involving a collaborative effect of multidisciplinary mental health team, details of written modern style. Uh, pharmacol pharmacotherapy with antipsychotic medication aims to alleviate the positive, symp uh, the positive symptoms and stabilise her cognitive functioning. Uh, regular psychiatric evaluations monitor medication efficiency and potential side effects of adjustments are made necessary. CBT is a crucial component of Mildred's treatment plan addressing cognitive distortions, enhancing coping mechanisms and promoting regular uh, reality testing. Group therapy sessions provide a supportive environment of social interaction and skill building, aiding in gradual reintegration of Emily into the broader, uh, broader community. Support services, including vocational rehabilitation and community outreach programs, are being explored to enhance Mildred's overall quality of life and foster independence. Okay. I don't know what I'm meant to be um, looking for with the pa the padlock codes. Is it like a is it like scratched into a picture or something? anything with a number on it that I could um uh Schnabel Perchten oh god uh rich culture of the Alpine region has been shaped thoroughly uh throughout history by a myriad of mythological creatures among them the mysterious entities known as Schnabel Perkin oh god this P 
pages and pages of this stuff. Uh, Schnabel meaning beak. Okay, so it's a beak person. I can still do that. But you, but you didn't. I didn't ask. You've heard me talking about Schnabel Perkton. Whatever the fuck that was called. Is it a Dutch thing or a German thing? German. Ah. Can't they interact with it? Blood soaked hand accused me whispering that sins that no soap can wash away. Is that not Macbeth? Could be. That's sound like a Lady Macbeth line. Um, right, okay. What? Maybe all voids. Oh. Flying at me, I thought it was a fucking spider. Crane fly, crane fly, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when it flies at you? Crane fly, crane fly. Me, I mean, that is a definitely an approach. See, I know we said we're gonna pass the resemblance, but. It's up to you. Just decide, by, decide um, on Thursday. And I'll phone them either tomorrow or Thursday, depending on what you decide. Is that like a piano sound? What am I meant to be doing? There we go, we're back. Okay. Can't look in the drawers, can't look in the bars. Just thinking that the, there must be something nearby for the the locked thing in here. What was the locked thing in here again? It was a uh, old pistol. I should leave it here. It might be an evidence. Okay. It might be an evidence. That was getting fucking sneeze. Fucking out these things. I 
just needs my headphones off him. Um, right, okay. Um, I don't know what the fuck this game wants me to do. Because it seems to be like a sort of wander around do shit game, but um, there's so many padlocks and stuff that have, like, um, not this one. Number cards, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what, what it wants to me to. I don't know if I'm just waiting need to find this one out later, or depending on the front of Sally's eyebrow. No. So I'm gonna have to go back to the basement to try and find something. Sneeze again. Nope, nope, that time I just wanted to just taunt me and then not actually let me do anything. Um, I don't get the sheer abundance of pictures we can interact with. Or the stuffed parrot on the wall. I'm just not sure what to try for any combinations for any of these because there, there's so many of them now. What with you? 7539. Okay, is that for this door? Or is that just one of the random codes? Any idea where I was meant to get that from, Kemi? Today felt like walking on eggshells with something... something and something and... Hang on. Ah, walking on eggshells with mum's distant stairs and the settling was first. Dad used to say she was different, but now the house echoes with the absence of his voice. Jeffrey's diary. Big ship on the wall. A candle. But oh, where the fuck are we meant to? Locked away. Something my tears with something they'll wash away. Okay. Hmm. Well, I've not really learned anything from getting into this room. All I've really got is more candles and a doll. Dog's head's here. <laughs> wow, 
What? What? Six months later. Hello. Two months after my first visit to her house, they are still investigating if it is suicide or homicide. I had to wait until dust settles down to come back to her place. I have one unfinished business here. I should do my recording from this place and get the hell out of here once done. Oh, I did I did I just skip everything else because I opened that one door? I am I am just wholeheartedly confused now. symbols on the walls. Dirty symbols mixed with blood invoke some occult forces around the house. What? What? First of all, it was a goat, and then it was a person, and then it was a goat again. Cleaning magic symbols added to documents. One in the basement, one in the bathroom, one in the upstairs, one in the dining room upstairs. I must find products to do the cleaning. Oh, you know, if we knew we were going to do that, we should have... Oh no, there's Artemis here. Where was it? The basement? The basement, the bathroom, the bedroom and the dining room. Okay. So we know where the basement is, the basement's over here. Uh huh. Where's the symbol? Piece of cloth. I've got a piece of cloth, piece of cloth, piece of cloth. I've got a piece of cloth. Now I can clear symbols. Ah! There's a symbol. Oh, I don't know they combine them. Clean towel. Huzzah! Our clean towel is still good. I don't understand what's going on, but okay. What was it again? Basement, bathroom, bedroom, dining room. Okay. Basement, bathroom, dining room. Okay. Bathroom. Oh. Been mauled by a goat again. I can't get away. Oh. We died. But it seems to have saved after we did the first symbol. Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't. Um, it just put me back here without my uh, without my trusty cleaning stuff. So I need to go back upstairs and get my trusty cleaning stuff. Where's the the symbol go? 
Ah, it's over there. Right. The bathroom's upstairs, I know where that is. Goat got me again, I can't get away. Oh. Goat got... Why am I in the kitchen now? Why am I in the kitchen now? Why? 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 Why any of it? Why any of it? for the goat this time. Not walk into him. Is this the dining room? No. Oh, there's the goat. Yeah, it's... I, I'm, I'm just mightily confused. Like, there's no other word for it. I'm totally confused. Oh, so you get that in England? You don't tend to get it up here. Mm. If you go to an English bag, you get it a lot. I mean, I would still not have it, but... Yeah, it's nice enough. It's no, just corned beef and potato. Is it just? Is it just through that one door, and then it just brings you to the section? Right. Okay. Oh fuck off, goat! I was doing well. I thought I was anyway. Oh. It saved the two things in my bag this time. Why don't I have them this time? Is it like a certain amount of time between things that it's just like, yeah, you get get to keep them this time, or no, no, you don't get to keep them this time. Ah, uh, 
I don't understand, I don't understand, I don't understand, I don't understand. Right, okay. Oh, the goal can follow me and also doesn't get trapped behind bits of furniture. Again, this time it's saved with me having both items. I, I don't get what the fuck I'm meant to do. I'm just getting kind of bored of this now, because I don't know what the fuck to do. I can't seem to tell when Goat Friend is about. He doesn't make any noise. I'll get away with that because I could see him that time. But where's the cloth? There's the cloth. Tried not running that time. Do I have both the items? No, I have neither again. Back in the kitchen. Right, okay, so... I'm kind of sick of being killed by a goat second to try and do anything. Um, I think no one likes being killed by goats. Killed by goats! Killed by goats! <laughs> um, the Lord of Goats! Give it, I guess give it three more deaths. And if I've not got anywhere substantial by three more deaths, um, I will swap to something else. Because I think three is being as, well, two now is being about as, uh, 
calm and patient as I can be with the game, but it's like, it's like I do not understand what the fuck I'm meant to do. The goat was in the kitchen, we got past him. Got the second symbol. It's bedroom and dining room, wasn't it? Do you see the goat anywhere? Right, this is the bedroom. There's the symbol. Dining room to go now. I'm really not sure what I make of that one. Like, like, don't be wrong, I wasn't expecting, you know, the best thing in the world, but I, I wasn't expecting we got, you know, bypassed finding the key for one room, and then the game just like, yep, that's you on to part two. I'm like, what? And then part two was just wander around cleaning things and doing stuff. It just wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't terrible, but it really wasn't great. Um, right. What else do we have on the list? We have this one. We have, yeah, we have this one. Let's get this one done. It's an adorable loading bar. Why do you need to download that much stuff? I'm slightly confused. Well, while it's loading, we'll talk about what it actually is. Um, let's do a page up. This is... This is SCP-087. SCP-087. Um, uh, it, it's a for, it's open per, a first person. Oh, I keep reading open first person horror game centered on the paranormal events. It's seemingly quiet laboratory. Players taking the role of truth seekers compelled to delve ever deeper into a building. However, escape is not an option, forcing them to endure a personal descent into hell. It came out on the eighteenth, so been out six days. It's got the two bucks. Uh, games created by Iri Adv with Yahahaha Horror Game Kit and Yahahaha assisting in the creator with package and publishing of the game based on their request. Yahaha Horror Game Kit is also tailored for magic creators, players who adore horror games, all without the need for programming expertise. Interesting. Greetings, everyone. I'm Iri Adv 
The indie developer would like to introduce my game, SCP-087, first horror game setting of chilling abyss of dark platform staircase, where each... Sorry. Where each step teeters on the brink of unimaginable dread. Do you possess the courage and wits to navigate this authentic SCP atmosphere and withstand the bone-chilling nightmares that lie in wait? Step into the shoes of the intrepid investigator from the SCP series. You'll embark on... Um, you bark on uh, unknown platform for investigation, prepared for horrors that lurk just beyond your sight. SCP-087 descends at a fixed angle of 13 steps, shrouded in suffocating darkness where strange noises and odd items occasionally drop, unsettling e uh, even the most seasoned explorers. The air grows heavy with each step, the oppressive silence is broken only by whispers of unknown terror lurking in the shadows. Your senses must remain on high alert for unexpected jump scares and sustained psychological tension that grips you relentlessly. Watch out there! Mysterious creatures may cross your path. Your best strategy is to evade or avoid them. As this direct confrontation proved futile. Explore and dim. Uh, ensure you maintain a light source as SCP-087 absorbs excess light, rendering sources brighter than 75 watts ineffective. Fair enough. Stained in intense psychological tension, unexplained ju unexpected jump scares, an authentic atmosphere of SCP. The game isn't very big when I first started to create a horror game. The inspiration of, of SCPs hit me when a student, a friend, told me about the horror stories about SCP-087, pushed me to explore the stairwells of our school. Luckily, I didn't find anything in the end. Since then, I got to, got to learn and fall in love with the stories of SCP Foundation. So, with little hesitation, I decided to SCP-087 as the first horror title. <laughs> I already started to visualize myself exploring the Foundation staff member. So only to be a first person game, and of course SCP-0871 would definitely be in my game. Uh, you will see if you try it out. It wasn't for my strong love of the idea, I probably would never have taken the step to develop a game independently, but, an eerie, uh, but if an indie developer is overwhelmed by passion, he will turn deaf ear to outside feedback and needs and make a terrible game. That's why I need more feedback from you guys, please let me know if you've been impressed by the horrific atmosphere of SCP-087 in the game. Leave a message if you have any suggestions. Tell me to improve the game. So I have plans to commit subsequent horror games or SCP housed objects. Uh, if you guys have any other SCP shelter objects that you wish to experience, let me know as well. I'm personally interested in 096 and 002. But um, I'm more interested in knowing what you guys think of recommended shelter objects. Game will release in July. If you have interest in it, consider wish listing on Steam. Okay, cool. And there's a Discord. Alright. That's something. Hopefully it'll be something fun. SCP-087. Right. Start game. Chapter 1, SCP-087. I should have looked up what, what is OS, SCP-087, but hopefully it will inform us. Some bugs, a foot and some bugs. Get out of here. A lighter, press T to turn it on. Okay. Big hole there.
Mañana. It's got a head. Head. What's up? I just said you go ahead, head. Oh, hello, head friend. We're going farther down this time. But we could just drop you in then there. No, we can't. Pick this one up. Oh no. Well, I'm sorry, other head. We need you back now. Where are you? It's a severed head. Exactly. Don't look back. Just keep on walking. I love how the description is F, F. Like. Like, like this? Wait a second. Like that? Yes. Speaking of, did you update um, that today? No, I haven't actually. Games? I did update it after the last ones. I should really start just doing tallies during the stream and then adding them later at night. Could make me far like more likely to remember. It would help if I was more with it. It's a skull. It's where we take head for head, friend. There we go. It's actually on the edge, it's just not going in. Well, that's as near as you're going to get, friend. Nose. You die.
Maybe I need to just bring severed head with me everywhere. Maybe that's my protection. No. Apparently not. He must do something, otherwise he wouldn't still be with us. There we go. It's a little bit clunky, but we did it. Complete. Congrats, you survived. Okay. Now what? Should we just go back up then? Oh, we can't go any further up. Maybe we need to take another severed head with us. Everywhere you go, you take a severed head with you. Everywhere you go, always take the head. Everywhere you go, always take a servant head with you. Don't know where to go from here. Can't go any further back than this, there's an invisible wall now. Oh, it's T, isn't it? Is it? I don't remember. It's one for torch. It's still up. I don't know what to do. Chapter. 
I've, I've done that. Is, that. is that it? It just said it said it was done. Congrats, you survived. Oh. Is that it? I think so, I just need to put this in the thing and then it just was like, yeah. I think it's playing it's the XP game, right? Yeah. Yeah, they just say it was very short. Too short. I just got all the way down here, then it was like, congrats, you survived. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Well, I guess that's that's just the game then. That is the game then. Um, how much was that? Two quid. Uh, interesting, interesting atmosphere, but it really needs to be longer and more fleshed out before I can probably do anything with it. Um, what time are we at? Four hours. Uh, they're two hours long. I've got anything else that's short. I was gonna do the game collection, but it might be a lot longer. Um, right. You know what? Let's just start this game collection. Then we'll see. What we do. This is an expert. It's a game collection. It uh, it says it's horror games, but I don't know if it is actually horror games. It says it was a collection of student games. So there's. Uh, this wants to show up. Do you want to show up? Yes, okay. Oh. You're not full screen. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take a quick pee break. I'll be back in a minute and we'll fix it when I get back. So back in a moment, folks. Alrighty, folks. Apologies for. For that, I think my vector antibiotics is just running through me, and I just need to run the bathroom more often. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, hopefully, it will be over in a couple of days. I'm only on them for like another three days, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but yes, anyway, this is uh, Lucifona Games, uh, which is a free. Uh, it's like a sort of collection of student games. I see. This is Steam. Immediately says that it's, it's got it's offline, which worries me. Uh, there we go. Steam was just being weird for a second. Uh, and bop. So this is Lucifona Games Collection. Let me just copy that over to our uh, display. So Lucifona Games Collection is a curated bundle showcasing the best student projects developed during a past academic year at Lucifona University. Play the games and take the behind the scenes looks at our student journey to becoming the next generation of video game developers. So it came out on the 19th. Um, it is indeed free because it's all student games. Um, let me just put this in. Does it exist in the thing? Nope, last year's one does. It's probably close enough to put last year's one in. And we'll see what happens. Um, the, this one games connection. There is one from 2023 as well, which I never heard of before. But this one does have the horror tag, I believe. Yes, that's the horror tag, which means we play through them. Um, this one games collection 2023. It's a creative bundle showcasing the best student projects. Yada 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 yada. Um, this collection highlights five games created in events and project classes within the video games bachelor degree program. Play the games and watch developer commentary to take behind the scenes look at our students' journey becoming the next generation of video game developers. So we've got Inside, Poetry Mastered, we've got Human Limited, we've got Magic Intern, Podscape and Shades of Insanity. Please be mindful that these are game experiences are small vertical slices that showcase the essential features of gameplay elements but do not represent the final products. Hope you enjoy them as much as we do. So 
they're basically demos. But it's fair enough. We'll try them. We'll see how we get on. Um, there are several games in the launcher, but only one of them, Shades of Insanity, is a horror game that delves into the sensitive mental health area. Okay, so we're going to play the other four quickly. But Shades of Insanity is the one we're really kind of here for. But yeah. We're still going to rate the rest, regardless. We're still going to get TTO ratings because they're in the bundle with the rest. Um, right, okay. So, it only has two reviews. Um, but yeah, this is something different. This is the kind of stuff I like doing. I like doing like, little demo games. Um, especially ones that are like this, where it's like supporting um, like new game dev, up and coming game devs and stuff. So, let's start with Inside Poetry. Uh, and let's just do play game. Actually, let me take that off first and do play game and see if this wants to launch something. I need to change. It does launch something different. Okay, one second. Uh, it's like the. It's like the um, yeah. horror. Uh, not horror. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, demo disc, yeah. yeah. Right, so. This is one to load up. There we go. So this one, this first one is uh, Inside... What's this one called? I've forgotten already. This is Inside Poetry. You've crashed landed in a mad school library. Now you're stuck. The only way out is up. Use your teleportation gun to make your way to the top, but be careful. Miss a shot and you'll fall all the way back down. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Ah, oh, right, okay. So space bar is our teleportation gun. Ooh, okay. So what's P do? Oh, P's is, P's is pause. Okay, cool. Alright, okay. I get the hang of this. It's all about angles and shit. I can get behind that. This is by uh, Hyena Dev. Art by Hyena Dev and Vransikru. Oh, right, okay, so we, we can't see what's too far above us. Okay. But the concept's good. I like the concept. Oh, that's missed. Oh. That's missed again. Yeah, I kind of dig it. We go up to the top one up there. Oh. Do we, I do kind of like that the fact we're climbing up a library. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! We're back here. Okay. And we've missed that one as well. God damn it! This definitely has the feel of a get of a is it getting over it. Um, yeah, the body, that's exactly what one of the comments said. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going, I'm going back down now. Right. right. But again, these get kind of... Oh, fuck. These will probably get a lot more lenient and bizarre ratings than other games we've played. Because they are just demos. So we have to look at them. We look at them in a little bit more. Like, is the concept good and stuff like that? And the concept ver seems very good with this one. Ooh, well, it's close. Right. Let's see. We get up to. Oh fuck. The physics are quite good in this. Once you've kind of gone up, you can't really... No, once you've kind of done your shot, you're kind of stuck with... If you don't... Give up or... It can bounce off you, that's also a... Ah, we're back to the start. Uh. Alright, try again.
I mean, the the concept's really good. The um, it's not really my jam as a game because it's more the kind of like people who like. I mean, Crim would like this. This is very much a Crim game. I might actually suggest it to Crim. They might like this bundle if there's anything else in it that would work. Because I think this would be much more just the Crim style. I think you'd get a kick out of this. Maybe even Hullion as well, actually. I think Crim plays a lot more platformers than other people, though. Alright, what we'll do is, because this has got a timer in the top corner, uh, we'll give it 10 minutes of playing each game. So, we're at three and a half minutes, and I've gone basically up like three, three things and back to the first floor again. So, that sounds yeah. like normal. Yeah. So yeah, we will try. We will try and do this for 10 minutes and then we'll change game. Because I think that's pretty fair. Because I think it does, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is, because it's a demo, it's very much a sort of one trick thing. And that one trick thing, it does quite well. Hey JD, how's it going? No problem, man. Not at all. Glad to see you. How's things been? We're just doing like a small demo collection at the moment. Can I just shoot further back to that one? God damn it. Worked the first time. Fucked up the second. Missed it. Missed it again. We're back down here one more time. Nope, now we're, oh, I was going to say, now we're definitely back down there. Nope, now we've, we've, we've saved it somehow. Um, I like the character, even though he's a, just, you know, the whole gimmick is he's a little alien, but it's still adorable. But I do think that it has potential. And in a sort of world where there's things like that Banana Hill game and uh, getting over it, and stuff like that, I think that this definitely would have a potential place. I say that as my my ball ricocheted back off. Thank you for selecting it. <laughs> it's appreciated. I'm. Um, uh, hang on. Could we do shots like like bouncing it in between that gap there? Would it? Would it work? Let's just try and see. A little bit further over. Uh, maybe if we just. Because you, there's a set angle, the highest thing you can shoot towards. I think it's very much trying to trying to physics it. I do wish you could move after you had uh, had the angle right, because you can sometimes be like, oh, I could, but the angle's not going to. Oh, fuck, I'm back doing it again. 
But no, I think as a demo goes, it seems fine. I mean, it doesn't have any music or anything, but again, it is a demo, so... There's a lot of things you can you f are more likely to forgive in demos, and I think that as far as the concept goes, the concept is strong. I say as I've, I've nearly fallen off the platform like four times. I, ma I imagine maybe the maybe the first couple are like this, where they're just you know simple physics, and because we're shit at games, we don't really get that far in them. Um, I do like the fact that sometimes it just bounces off at angles. And then you have to be like, oh, well, fuck, it's hit the angle that causes it to, to just bounce rather than to sell. And that is a definite thing you want in the kind of, again, banana hell meets, uh... Yeah, that kind of crazy, uh... Endurance, endurance climbing games. That was shit. I want to be on the one up there if I can. About there. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, if I was any good at these kind of games. We'd probably be able to see further up and see if it does um, acquire, you know, a lot more skill and stuff as it goes on. What I'll do is, next time I fall completely back down, I think, we'll do a, a game change. I say that as I nearly fell, but it's below. It's still below ten minutes, so until I have a a fall of at least three platforms unintentionally after the ten minute mark, we will change. We will change the game. Hey, bits, how's it going? I think I will. I think of. I think we get the general gist of that, and I think that's general. That's pretty decent. I would generally say that that is a. Yeah. Hang on. If I uh, bring up this play capture again, you can see later on that it has things to avoid, like cats that shoot the ball around weird and other things. So yeah, there's definitely much more to the game there. I think that's a solid four, actually. I think as a concept that would work. Yeah. I think, um... I'm not the kind of person that's, that's very good at these games, but I can see that definitely working. Especially, as I said, in the world of, like, endurance climbers. I could see that as working as a concept. And that, I mean, even if that game was only, like, a couple of bucks, I could see it selling well to, like, endurance players. Oh, there's, like, portals and shit as well. Ooh. But yeah. Yeah, this is the um I'll just bring it back up. Yeah, this is the Lysophona school project projects collection. This is Portugal, he says. Yeah. Hmm? Bit says this in Portugal. Hmm. Where he's from. I did not know it's Portugal. Um, That's interesting to know. Yes, I, I, I knew Bits was Portuguese, but I didn't realise that uh, Lusofono was in Portugal. Hmm, never says anywhere it was Portuguese, actually. Interesting. But no, um... Yeah, so that, that was the first one. Um, we'll try the second one, which is Magic Intern. Magical Intern. Um, you're just an intern wizard doing magical stuff in your magical workshop, you get messed up, you dropped an office key into your bubbling cauldron, now you're locked in, but no worries because you vaguely remember the master mentioning something about an emergency key, the problem is you can't remember what he said, all you know is he left some clues and puzzles around the room that lead up to emergency key, time to turn your inner magic and solve this mystery. Alrighty. Now playing magic intern. Uh, no, that 
does it say pot? Is that pot instead of pot? Oh, it's because I haven't changed that over. There we go. Right, so this is another one with uh, Hyena Dev. Uh, Manfield, Manfield, Ev. Oh, Manfield Dev. And Rod Rodrigo Gomez 01. All the information is there for Saggy. Um, on the Steam page, it tells you from which years the games are. Yeah, it's, oh, it says it's from, they're from first. Second. Some are from first year, some are second or third year. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just bring I just remembered that. Yes, it says uh, Inside Poetry Mass was the first year one. These are all second year, and then the last one she's inside, which is the actual horror game, it was a third year. So, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's try this one, see what we get on with it. Memory potion. So, uh, looks like cheese, so a telescope, something else, and uh, some sort of timer. Don't forget to feed the bird at 12.30. When is 12.30? Do we have a clock in here? We do, but it's not 12.30 yet. Well, looking at the moon, I imagine. Green makes them big, pink makes them small. Okay. Well, there's cheese. Can I put the cheese in? So we're rearranging this order somehow. Ah, oh, there's a, a chess piece. Okay. Chess piece in this? No. Uh, pieces from white chess pieces. These must go in a particular order. I don't know what order that is though. Need a fitting key. Well, what else can we interact with first of all? I like the kind of the chunky art style of this one. 12.30 we feed the bird. So let's put that at 12. That's 12 o'clock. Uh, small mag magical glasses. So that's what we need for that. So let's use small magical glasses, whatever that is. And... This thing in that one. Oh, there's another chess piece. Do you want me to put these chess pieces back at all? No. Button to put them in. The interact button as well as a thingy button. I don't know.
I'm missing something obvious. F is use item. Something on the chessboard I need to do with this? No. to just move this, why can't I interact with it? Oh, there's something over there. Is that what I need to be looking at? Oh no, I don't think so. Hmm. Check these drawers again. No, nothing in there. Okay, the blue shines a light this way. Is it? Oh, that'll be it. It wants it on that. There we go. Maybe a little bit further over. done that. We've got the glasses, we've got the cheese, we've got the thing lined up, we just need whatever that is. Is this a lantern? Let me get the potion. what this is meant to be meant to line up as. Do you see anything else with yellow, red, blue, green, white on it? Red there and blue, green's there. Maybe that's it? No, blue, that's the two of them there, so it should be these two that's the wrong way around if that's the case. No, it's not. Green, red. Anything else in this room that's spelling stuff out to me that I'm not just not seeing? Can't change the time anymore. We've got that sorted. Chessboard doesn't seem to do anything. Drawers don't do anything. Mouse is just quite happy wandering back and forth. What am I missing? If anyone has any suggestions, as usual, please just fire them in. Well, 
go from there. I feel like I'm missing something obvious, but I'm not sure what that is. Missing something very obvious. I'm just not seeing what that is. Can I move these? No. find that still moves that I haven't done anything with are these books. I don't know what what wants to move them. Oh hang on. What? Oh I can put them on. Put the magical glasses on. There's a two. Oh, okay. Blue is two. Red is five. Okay. How could I put these on? I don't know how I could put these on. Green is four. So yellow and white. There we go. Sand timer. Add the ingredients. I don't know what I did to make the thing. Okay. It's a big portion. F. Uh. Okay, so there's more. One more white chest piece about somewhere I've not seen when I find that that has done this looking for one last white chest piece lying around as I said I don't know what I did to to get that to work it just seemed to just decide it wanted to work which is very strange where is this last chest piece Where is this last chess piece? It is the last white pawn. Is that it there? So that's just the thing in the drawer. Waffles, no, it's not wrapped up in that, no. It's not up there, not down there, not on the book. So there's one already on this bookshelf. I don't think it's gonna be there. Is it inside a a torch or something? Underneath the cauldron. No. Underneath the table. No. Underneath that table. No. Is it behind up 
there? No. I can't jump, so I don't think it's going to be up on top of the rafters. Is it like tucked away in one of the top of the branches? That's the one I can reach. Anyone have any? Does anyone have any ideas where I could look for one? Right. I bet I'm staring it right in the fucking face. Yes, I was. We did finish that one, but that one was good. I like that one. That was pretty solid. It's definitely, I mean, definitely a four or a five, definitely of the two. I'll wait and see how the other ones go before we uh, we give, decide which one rating that one's getting. But I think the other one's probably going to, I think the first game is probably going to get a four. Mm, three or four. This one's probably going to get four or five. So I'll wait and see how the last, uh, the last three go. Alrighty. So the next one. Uh, next one is Human Limited. Human Limited is a first-person escape room game where players are hired detective. Uh, we are tasked with the investigation of the mysteriously abandoned company Human Limited. Which filed for bankruptcy despite its notable wealth and fortune. Our client is an ex-employee of that company and he will be communicating with us through walkie-talkie during the investigation. However, upon arriving the building, the floor collapses and we fall into an abandoned underground office, which we must now escape while he's trying to figure out what really happened there. Okay, solve mysterious puzzles. Alrighty, okay. We'll get there. So, just wait for this to pop up. There it is. And this way, catch it off. Human Limited. Alrighty. <coughs> Hello? Are you okay? Like, I heard a city about bang over there. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Over. Oh, phew. Thank goodness. I thought I was talking about that for a moment there. Uh, everything okay? I feel a bit dizzy. I don't really remember what happened. Over. Well, I heard a pretty loud crash over there, and the building is pretty old, so I was worried it crumbled on you. Well... I see a hole on the roof. I think the ground collapsed and I fell. And now I'm in some sort of office. Over. Uh, yep. That sounds about right. The company's building was mostly underground. Uh, you probably fell into one of their offices. Try to find the elevator. It should be able to get you back to the surface. Do you copy? Oh, uh, right. Over, over. <sighs> On it. Over and now. Diary page. Uh, diary page. 3.11.22. Interesting enough, our manager sold more than half a company's shares. I think rumour says he's thinking about retiring early. This cannot end well, Jerry. Okay. So we've got a notepad that we can write all our notes down on. Like, we can just write what we want on it. So that's interesting, that means it might be one of those puzzle games that we need to actually write shit down. Connect 
the wire to each side. Oh god, okay. Um, hmm, okay, I need to fix the wires first. I'll just start with this then. to find something that has those numbers and those symbols on it and go from there. Storing his electricity. Okay. Come in. I found the working computer. Over. Oh, nice. Uh, there should be an app on their desktop containing part of the code. Come in. I see a couple of numbers and symbols on the monitor. Over. Like I said, the code is encrypted. Uh, the symbols are usually written down somewhere since <laughs> nobody remembers them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, keep looking around. Over. Well, they're on both. It. Over and up. They're both used on the um, fuse box. So I imagine the fuse box code is probably the numbers in there. Okay. So, code is. Uh, yeah, eight numbers long and it's... Okay, um... So it's... Looks like Joe... Something... Something... B... Something... 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 Okay. So we need to find what the fuses mean, and that'll get us out. Well, if we're going by these, one is green, two is yellow, three is purple. Computer says it needs administrator access. Over. Huh. That employee must have not had access to the file. It's usually locked for interns for safety reasons. You you should be able to get permission by uh, going into supervisor's computer in their office. Easy peasy. Affirmative. Over and out. Oh, okay. Well, here's the, the breakdown of stuff then. Okay, so... Okay. So... Let me just go and take a note of what the symbols are. So we know what we're actually dealing with, or actually from this one. Okay. So we know that that's one. And I've already forgotten what 2 was. The 2 was there as well. Pretty sure 2 is that one, actually. Um, so there's... Moon, moon with a triangle. There's gallows. There's... Inverted LE. There's backwards euro and there's B. Okay. Are they all the symbols that are on this? This wall through here. Some of them, yes. Okay. Um, oh, it was uh, the gallows one that's two. Okay. So I need to change. Oh, I don't know so it's like. Um, so it's. Uh, Ellie. One gallows one two uh, 
So gallows plus that one equals two of them. Okay. The gallows counts gallows is eight, so two oh two times two is four. So that means that plus that minus four is four. Which means four plus so it's my brain is trying to do math. Two plus some two plus something minus four is four. So that's got to make four together. So again that might be two as well then. Usually they're not the same number, but that might have to both be two. Um so that would be two plus four is six divided by six divided by um two is three. So that weird backwards euro symbol is three. Oh god, I'm trying to remember this thing. Oh, it's not saved our notes. Why is it not saved our notes? LE one Gallo Gallows two um Moon try two. It can't be two as well though, that's the whole thing. Because if it's two as well. It's not that's not moon try is four. Moon try is four. Um the sort of I guess four wheels is the easiest way to describe it. Four wheels is two. Uh, backwards euro is three. Uh, so two times two is four divided by something is four. So B must be one then. Okay. B, B can't be one because L E is one. Oh, okay, okay, no, it's fine. B is one. Three plus one is three plus one is uh, four. Four, four plus two is six. Divided by two would be three. Be three again. So that one would be three again. That we are V will be three again. And the weird that's minus one equal yeah that uh, that works though because that's four. And that minus that is four, so that must be five. So the weird sort of U one is five. And no, I'm doing maths and I'm making you all very happy. Um V is five. The weird kind of plant pot one is Plant is is three. I think we've blocked everything out from this board. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have. Blue is four. No, blue is three. Sorry, red is two. Locked in is a key. Okay, well, that's not that one. That one is definitely one. That one is definitely two. Uh, that one is definitely three. That one was also one. I think that one was also a number as well. Gonna guess these two. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, 
you are here. Fuse one is the purple room. Yeah. Fuse one, if I got that right, then fuse one should be that. Or do I have to have all of them right before it? I probably have to have all of them right. Green is a hundred. Yellow is point one. Purple is two thousand. Blue is zero. Come in. Hey, this computer needs a password. Over. Oh, that's probably Jerry's computer. My coworker. Jerry. Mm. He's always been. Not the most pleasant person. He always liked his privacy. Uh, oh, he also used to have a diary where he kept note of everything. See if you can find it. I see a torn page next to this computer. Is this it? Over? Hmm. Maybe it's got ripped apart along with the debris. Try to find more pages if you can. On it. Over and out. <sighs> you still owe me five bucks, Jerry. So we need to find the ripped pages from the diary. Oh right, okay. Uh, okay, so we found two uh, two ripped pages. That's full of stuff. I stole your key, Jimmy. Okay. Well, let's have a look around, see if we can find uh, anything that would make any sense. Anything on here? No. Anything around here? No. Anything on the plant, nothing on there, nothing on the floor. Nothing around. That's full of rocks. That's full of rocks. Can't use any of those. That's knocked over. Can't use any of that. Ah, there's a fuse there. Need to fix the wires first. Well, if I just put in what we had before, which is that is three, uh, that is two, that is four, and that is five. I need to fix. Oh, right, so tell me if the wires are all right. Okay. Okay, so if we carry on with that being one, that being two, you being three, you being four, and you being five. Hmm. I don't know. check this again. So yeah for that to be minus the same number and get it they've got to equal the two of them together have got to equal the same number. And how have we got four from that? Oh have we got four from that from the other one below it which is two times two. Four because we know that that plus that minus four is four. Actually, no, that's not 
two. That's six, for fuck's sake. Yeah, two plus six minus four. Six. Fuck's, fuck's sake. Every number wrong. Um, so the sort of four wheels is six, not four. If that's six, then that's six plus four, which is ten, divided that, which means a euro is five. Um, six times two divided by that is four. Six times two is um, twelve. Divided by something is four, so that must be three. So B is three. Um, this one is five plus three, which is eight. Equal to Joe, so Joe is eight. I didn't even write Joe down, that's how good I was. Joe is eight. So that means that one's nine. Because that minus one is eight. So V is nine. Um that is eight plus Eight plus six is fourteen divided by that which is seven, so plant is seven. Not three. So that's one, two, four, six, five. Let's just put these in order. Uh yeah, so we're only really missing Oh no, Joe is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. So now we should be able to go to the wiring. Because now we've fixed what we fucked up, because I couldn't do fucking maths before. Right, okay. Reset. So can I can I see my notes? No I can't. Uh, Lee is one, Gal is two. It's not saved my notes, I've just updated. Uh, uh, plant was seven. Joe is eight. B is three. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, Ellie, Gallo, B, Min, Euro. So, Ellie, Gallo, B, Min, Euro. Okay. We've done something at least. So that means it's eight. That means looking at the thing. It is now eight something something three something something something. Okay, we're getting there. We need to go find the supervisor's PC, which is somewhere around. Um, coffee. Find the fuses. Oh, office keys here. Didn't see that. Okay. Maybe I couldn't see it because the lights weren't on. Right, okay. Oh, that's fine. I, I just looked at this. Um, it was. 
one is to one is green. No reset. Uh, two is uh, yellow is four. Purple is three. Green is one. I don't know how to do this fucking thing. Um, let me go check what the numbers are. I'll do that once I've checked this for anything else. Is that a fuse? No, it's a pencil. Is that a fuse? No, it's something else. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, diary page. Something is going on. Empty cubicles fill our workspace. Co-workers seem to disappear. I was telling all those shares the weird businessman things are weird, the company can't afford firing all these people that are being sent somewhere. Okay. Uh, right, well I need to do that number quiz next, but let me just check see if there's any double check there's no fuses as a stapler. There's not a fuse just lying around there. Right, okay. Let's check there wasn't a fuse lying on there. No, there's not. Okay, cool. So, red is three. No. Um. I would have said red is two because the second one along, but red could, red could be three. Red's either three or two. Green, yellow, purple. Can't spell purple, but that'll do. And, uh, blue. It's three if we believe the number, it's two if we believe the placement. Blue is zero. Purple is two. Either two or two if we believe the number, or three if we're talking about what's there. Yellow is either one or four, depending if it wants placement or number. And green is again one or uh, one either way. Okay, that's fine. We'll come up with that. We can work with that, we can work with that. I actually dig this. This is a good little puzzle game. Helps when I can remember how the fuck to do maths, which took me a lot longer than I wanted it to. Right, what was this? Uh, three, so we'll try three, one, one, two. So you're up at three, you're one, yeah, one, you're zero, because you're three, you're one, no? Three, one, one, two. Not two. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that doesn't seem to. Well, purple wants purple is one too far. Oh, that was what it wanted. It was purple too. Keycard. But we don't have any fuses. Fuck. Uh, 
I was hoping to get fine fuses. Um, unless I can just move the fuses from where they are, which you'd think I'd be able to do. Can I do that? No, I can't. Oh, I can. Uh, which one is that doing? I think that's this. Is that this room finally? I don't know. We'll find out. No, that has no power still. Uh, let's do one. There we go. Right. Not any of them, no. We can't go around here. Interrupt with button grid. What the fuck is this? What do you want from me? What do you want from me, button grid? I don't know what you want to do from that puzzle. Hmm. I don't see anything on your wall to indicate. on the handle to select it. So if I mentioned in any of these? No. Right. This can all come out because I don't need it anymore. They can come out because I don't need them anymore. That needs to stay because that is that makes some sense. Um for saying just some stop being confused by the flashing lights. Um okay. Hmm. That's broken. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what the thing wants me to do. Is a little bit confusing. Just a little bit. It's not, it's not, it's not crazy, just, just a little bit. Nope, not there. Come in. I found the elevator. How does it open? Over. Ah, right. Some of the underground offices have the restricted elevator access. You're going to need a code for it to open. A code? What is it? Over. Sorry, I don't know. The code changed to a new one every day. Copy. Where should I look then? Over. 
Uh, I will call the employees who have access to it. Uh, go check on their computers. It might be encrypted though. Uh, search their cubicles and yeah, tell me what you find. On it. Over and out. Right. I would like to know what the whole um, the button thing is all about. So I don't understand. Actually, do you know what it will be? It will be the colours all the way along. So that's one up. That's only, there's only four of them though. And then there's five colours. So four. Four is one. One is one. Four is one. Three is two. Zero. Three. Two is three. So one is one. Two is. Th okay. I think I can. I think I can work with that. If it's what I'm looking for. Nope. Um. What is the? What does it want me to do with it then? If it's not, um, if it's not that, what does it want me to do? I'm not familiar with this. Uh, I think the clock has to do something else first. Clock's got to do something. Is there another clock around? I've not seen one, but is there another clock around? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It's one, three, five, three, two. One, three, five, three, two. something obvious. That's a really nicely done one. I'm annoyed I didn't catch that faster. Okay, so that's something nine, something one. So it's eight, something, something, three, something, nine, something, one. Eight, something, something, the something nine something one yeah eight something something three something nine something one yeah okay imagine the broken clocks the next thing then Okay, what have we 
we've got left in our inventory? It's just we're missing one diary page as well. So there must be some other room we've not been in yet or looked in yet. Hmm. Alrighty, where is this? Oh, hang on. I'll just do the same thing, it's just. Okay. Never mind. Uh, I mean, that is only. a couple hundred digits, a couple hundred attempts. I probably could brute force that given time, but. Um, I don't think that's what it wants me to do. I think it wants me to be more. Uh, okay, so Fuse 3, we don't need anymore because that was this building. Fuse 2, we only needed to see the. The thing, I think. Uh, fuse one. Let's put fuse two back in and go check that other room. Because there might be something there that's, uh, that's helpful. Oh, it's his. Uh, is it the one? Not one. Next one back. It's this one. It's this one. Oh, okay. So that's uh that's ends in two ends in two one and the four wheels is six, so it's four, six. That's only that's only a hundred digits, I could probably put four start a lot easier. And the fact it's been a different number every time means you're probably looking at it being four and a seven. Um, but let's uh, let's treat this like a, for the moment at least, we've got half an hour before I need to restart the stream. So let's treat this like it was a uh, actual, like we're trying to get in, like, I don't understand how to get into his thing. this can tell me apart from the code no not really this was just really that and that and then uh, I don't get where this last diary page can be Completionist in me really wants to find it without just going and brute forcing the, the door. I could just go and try and brute force the door, but I'd not, probably rather not. I kind of, would you enjoying the how the puzzle's been unraveling? It kind of makes you just want to see the last little bit unravel to you rather than just try and brute force to leave, but that said I do only have about as I said about twenty minutes, half an hour before I want to restart the stream, so if that's the case, I don't want to be leaving it too long, just in case I can't brute force it for any reason. Um but I'm pretty sure it should be a seven and a four in the gaps we don't have, so because as I said it's been different every time. with this broken clock. But how what what does the broken clock have to do with it? What does the broken clock have to do with it? What does the broken clock have to do with it? Which was three again? Three is Use that one again. Okay. I just want to go look out and make sure there's not a, a big clock out there somewhere. It's got a time on it that's telling me something that I'm, I should have. 
No, I don't think. I think that's literally just for the that thingy problem. Okay. Well, if that's just for if that's just for that problem, we can roll that one out, and it's just been in the top one. So let's put it on this one again. I think that was just to get through this door. We may just have to brute force the clock. Question, question, AM, so... Hmm. 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 Um, right. Yeah, I just got to put force the clock and then work out where it came from afterwards. There's some screams from the floor below us. Is the work you've never seen anyone before? Hopefully, it will be on right now. Being promoted, hopefully, the new office is more quiet. Okay, so we've got all four pages. Do we take them back and there's like a cipher or something? the years I've worked here being promoted. If anyone could have anyone has any ideas, um if I stream too long by the way. Because nobody's chatted in a while and my stream thing is still telling me I've been going five five yeah, hours five and my thing on the bottom says I've been going five thirty nine. Yeah you're going five thirty nine, you're moving for me. Okay, that's fine. I just got concerned for a second when I realised it was that much of a transparency. Um Stop hoarding my muffin stupid box, give them to me. Not me being incapable of opening a muffin box, not at all. I'm not sure what the, the answer for this one is. I've got all four diary pages now. This is the answer. Oh, muffin. Lemon muffin's always the answer. Could it's very well be. Muffin. Could very well be. Um, I don't. I don't know what Jerry's diary is meant to tell me. Uh, 
don't know what I meant to get from this. I genuinely don't know what I meant to get from this. I might, considering we've got uh, how long left to be start the stream, about 20 minutes left to be start the stream. I might just um, try and brute force the door. We've got all but two digits, as I said. So. I just don't know what I'm meant to get from Je from Jerry's diary. Maybe I'm just being thick. Hmm. Because I thought maybe the last page would. Be I also don't know where I, how I was meant to get the half five for the lift. For the broken clock, sorry. Actually, let's quickly go back to the broken clock and make sure there's not like a key lying in the the clock bit as well as the diary page. Because that would just be typical of us not noticing it. No, that's fine. But yeah, half five. I don't get what was meant. Does this not mention half five? No, no, it doesn't. Alright, let's try brute force in the store then. Um, six, three, eight, six, seven, three, four, nine, two, one. Eight six seven three four nine two one. I don't even know if that was right. I can't look at the thing. Eight six. Eight six four eight six four three seven nine two one. Eight six four three nine seven two one. Am I doing this number wrong? Um, hang on, let's do the chat. 8 6 8 6 star 3 star 9 2 1. Okay. So, 8 6, let's just go from the beginning. 1 3 1 9 2 1 8 8 6 1 3 2 9 2 1 8 6 uh, 1 3 3 9 2 1 I'm just going to brute force this, it's going to just take a bit of time 8 6 1 3 Four nine two one. Do I check again? Eight six seven three four nine two one. Eight six four three seven nine two one. Okay. No, I should I should do this properly. I shouldn't just sit here for the next ten minutes brute forcing this. Um. How the what the fuck do I do with Jerry's diary pages? They're not very helpful. And they've got to be helpful in some regard because I had to. F all four of them were like took a little bit to get hold of. Hang on. Yeah. Don't get what I'm meant to find for Jerry's. Use quick uppercase and lowercase letters. Coffee. Nope. Damn it, Jerry, what's your is it just Jerry? No, it's not just Jerry. Future Soft Vision XD.
I don't get what I'm meant to be putting in for this password. Unless it's a date that I'm working here, but... So it's... They run out of coffee. Then it's manager selling stuff. Then it's shares. Unless it's something stupid like one, like the numbers all the way along. So like one seven. Three eleven twenty seven three twelve one. But that just sounds fucking pedantic. I really don't know. I really don't know. Um So it does have a limit. I, I don't understand what I meant to use this code. Summer Rick, four pages from this diary. I'm, I'm totally lost. Guess I'll just go back to doing this because I can do something with it, I guess. Eight, six. So we'll try just doing four. We'll try doing checking the other number at four. Four, three, one, nine, two, one. Eight, six, four, three, two, nine, two, one. Eight six four three uh three nine two one eight six four uh oh, wrong eight six eight six four three uh four three four nine two one eight six oh, where? Eight six four three uh five nine two one eight six four three seven nine two one eight six four three eight nine two one eight six four three uh nine Nine two one eight six four three zero nine two one oh. uh, eight six seven three one nine two one eight six seven three Two nine two one eight six seven three four nine two one eight six seven three five nine two one eight six seven three six nine two one eight six eight six seven 
37 name to 1. It's six. This, is, this is the problem with being like a ridiculously long chord. 8, 6, 7, 3, uh, where are we? 7, uh, 8, 9, 2, 1. 8, 6, 7, uh, 8, 6, 7, 3, uh, 9, 9, 2, 1. 8, 6, 7, 3, 0, 9, 2, 1. I don't know. We've tried the brute force, the two numbers were missing. Let me just check my numbers are right. B is definitely 3. B is definitely 3. Then triangle is definitely 4. Euro is definitely 5. 4 is definitely 6. Flat is definitely 7. Joseph would be 8. That's definitely yeah, they're all right. I don't know. What the fuck to do? I don't know how to fix this. We have all the diary pages, but they're not making any sense. So, yeah. <sighs> the question is, uh, if I restart the stream, do I come back and try and work this out, or do I like kick it in the head? I want to. But I don't really want to have this as a playover when I can't figure out what the fuck to do with it. Check, there's nothing else I can do on you, is there? No. You did. See, if we know where to use this, I can just do it for you. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on that already. Yeah, but I don't know where it is, I can't do it. We downloaded the charity stuff, didn't we? If we didn't, if we didn't it's lost now. I'm pretty sure that's on there. But I don't have the USB. Because mm. I don't know where you put it. I always put it here and it's not here. Let's just check. 8, 6, something, 3, something, 9, 2, one. Yeah, that's, that's, that is what it's meant to be. Um. I have the charity stream here. Because it's the one with all the weird numbers. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I think we'll restart the stream in a second. I just don't know what the fuck, if anyone has any final thoughts what the fuck to try for for Jerry's oh. thing. If you want to have a quick look for the USB before I restart, then if you find it I can just do it for you, you don't have to restart. I have three minutes. I, have three, I don't know how long as well to spend on this. Because... I could spend the next like three hours on this trying to find what the fuck any of it means because Jerry's diary entries mean nothing apart from him complaining about coffee productivity there and shares in that one how people are disappearing I've got nothing. I've got nothing. So I think we're just going to have to kick it in the head. Oh, make a kitten. And come back with the other ones. Because uh, I don't know what else to do with this one. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just going to restart the stream before it gets much later because. Uh, I, I want to see. I want to know what the fucking end of this is. I really fucking do, but it's it's not going to come to me anytime soon unless there's suddenly a magical epiphany somewhere. Oh, that's where the half five came from. It's this clock here. Um.
But yeah, there's... Unless that's quote quotation marks, but... They're all in quotation marks. Yeah, alright. Well, I'm going to go hit the beer back screen. I'm going to restart the stream. And we're going to come back with, I think we've only got one, one left. Uh, this is Human Limited. We've got two, like, two left. We've got Podscape and, and Shades of Insanity. So yeah, we'll be back with um, Podscape and Shades of Insanity. So yeah, back in a minute, folks. 